They're just playing out playing so well. This is wild. Good damage though. That might oh, be game. No, it's moment. not. The hammer. Every moment. No way, I, I think dude. that was lethal. I think that was lethal. Dude, Trader AC. I I'm, I'm, I'm a huge believer in Trader AC. Ain't no way, dude. That's insanity. This is insanity. The preset meta is weird. It acts similar to a fighting game, but the top tiers and low tiers are not what you think. For example, the trainer AC looks horrible on paper, but in practice, it's incredibly good. If you like what you see, check me out on Twitch, where we currently stream at 11 a.m. CST every single day and host tournaments and events three times a week. So enjoy some preset wackiness and one of my favorite grand finals of all time. Let me read 12 a.m. CST instead of 11. All right, so we have Locksmith, my personal favorite preset AC. I love that laser blade, and the Morley is just very fun with it. And then we have Trainer AC, which again, as I said earlier for those in the stream and not on YouTube, this is not a throw. Trainer AC is a hidden boss in preset. Trainer AC goes so hard. This thing can permanently fly. It's got good damage output. It does have a missile to rot stuff like Volta. It is a very good AC. It's also not I'm just a worse Wazoo. Go ahead, Raman. Sorry about that. I'm interested to see how this plays out. I'm not a believer of the trainer AC. Well, you should be because it has AP lead. I'm ready to. I'm ready to be wrong. I'm excited. Both players about even in AP right now. Laser drones are flying. Uncharged laser drones. I like it. That is how you should play this matchup. You just want damage. That's all you want. Melander, Melander frame does not have amazing defenses, so it's important to just get any damage in when you can. Lockman is currently again still losing AP lead. Good charge by Jin Kumon. Yeah, I don't. I, as a laser blade enjoyer myself, I do not actually agree with going for it when the, your opponent's in the air. What what um, that what DDM should be doing right now is going for kicks into the regular laser blade attack because that is way more consistent against like lightweight kites, which Melander core is or Melander frame is a lightweight. People forget about this. It is super light that AC. As I said before, Trainer AC is not a throw. Look at this. DDM just Come cannot on, catch up. Irma flying with the Yaba Gen. Yaba Gen is so underrated, my friend. It is so good. Uh, yes, best two out of three, uh, Capital Tubs. Yes. Yaba Gen has an, a fantastic red line. Ooh, finally hitting one of those laser blades. Let's go. I love seeing laser blade in tournament, dude. I love this weapon so much. It's so bad, but I love it. Ooh, good Morley. Good Morley. Close to getting stunned. Trainer pops pulse armor now again. Chat, we did give pulse armor to every every uh, every AC that does not have an expansion. Trainer AC in the normal game does not have pulse armor, which is very upsetting. You're it's in the last at, five seconds. Last five seconds. It look, it, it is looking like Gen Kumon's game, and there it is. Two seconds there remaining. As the I trainer said, Trainer AC is a menace. Trainer AC is. I, I cannot wait to see how far I Trainer AC goes. You should be. Yaba Halcor? Yep, Yaba Halcor is ridiculous. Alright. Yo, Trader Sweep? I agree, chat. That Ludlow, one of, one of the things people forget about Ludlow is that Ludlow actually has a really long ricochet range. Um, so even if you're like 400, 400 meters away from an AC with these low defenses as Locksmith, because Locksmith is a midway, you're going to get like one or two damage off which can really rack up over a course of a two-minute game. Again, the counterplay to this would be just to assault boost into them and hopefully go for a kick. The bipec kick hitbox is pretty dang good. We looked at that over earlier on stream uh, yesterday and the day before. The kick hitbox on biped is pretty dang nice. So you want to go for that kick and you want to, uh, you want to quick boost cancel the kick and then go for laser blades neutral attack. Not charged. Though I will say this matchup is rough for Locksmith as a Locksmith enjoyer. Ooh, Ooh good what hit! A cat. Oh, but it might not be enough. Really needed to capitalize on that. Yeah, they need they needed to immediately press the Morley. The Morley's not a true combo out of Laser Blade, but it is very close. And with the proximity detonation of Morley being, I believe, five, it can Ooh, still connect. Oh, hit from there. Oh, good showing by Gen Kumon, though. Trainer AC is real. It does exist, and it is a fucking threat. The follow? All right. 
All right, don't forget to swap spectator to the locksmith. Oh, lock, one no, locksmith. Okay, cool. AC, oh, God damn it. I got it. We just swapped locksmith. We just lost him. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can see the adaptation from DDM Gamer here. Those laser drones Ooh. sadly did hit the wall, but actually charging laser drones here, which is not a bad idea, because if one of those gets lucky and does connect, then it can do a lot of damage, especially, again, Trainer AC does not have intense defenses. In fact, I actually know Trainer AC's energy defense is its weakest, so that laser blade and those laser drones will do a lot of damage if they connect. It is six rounds of Swiss, because a lot of people didn't check in. We have 15 players not check in, so it Ooh, is now six. Oh, the laser drone's punishing the charge shot. You do not want to be stance when you're on that. Honestly, if I was Jen Kumon, I'd just be plinking away. I would not even go for stance, because every time you go for a stance shot, there's a Morley, there's a laser blade, there's a laser drone. You can get punished so easily. And running a lightweight like trainer, you do not want to get, you do not want to get hit, which is very obvious to say, but I want to just <laughs> preface that trainer's trainer's defenses and AP, not great. Not not great. The trainer AC is winning the chip war. And it looks like it's gonna be another kill. Dude, Trainer AC is a demon. <laughs> like this thing, y'all, y'all, I said it before, but y'all might, might think it's easy because you've killed it so many times in training mode. But look at it here. Look at it right here. It is coming back for you. Dude, what if Trainer AC wins the whole fucking tournament? Could you imagine? Mm, I'm not a believer that it'll win the whole thing. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Gen, Gen Kumon's making me believe. I'd like to see a lot more assault boost play out of the locksmith here. Yeah, and the thing is, locksmith is not a slow AC. I, it, I believe it's assault no boost speed is like to... something like 450, maybe even like 4 480. It's like you can 100% catch up and go for kicks and such. I would just, I would just only go for assault boost. Yeah, Probably I... never, never use neutral like laser blade at all. The thing is, you want to, you want to go for assault boost into kick and then do the neutral laser blade, which is not a combo, but it's damn close to it. It is it is a super good good way of using it. And I've done I've I've played this matchup before. Like this is not an impossible matchup for Locksmith. It might look it. Ooh, a good catch though. Yeah, very good catch. They have to assault boost. They're just not doing it. They are so what what DDM is doing is that they are they are just holding forward while their opponent's holding S, but their opponent's faster, so they're not gaining anything. Especially, I believe, Locksmith's on Flugel, which means the Assault Boost speed is not that bad. Neither is the Assault Boost uh, EN load. Missiles to counter tra trainer. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. is. And Jen Kumon takes it. A commanding 2-0 by the trainer AC. <laughs> no. I think Rika has been has been by the entire tournament. Anyway, well, I know Mel was the first uh, buy, like proper buy. Yeah, uh, Sabbath was I think actually. Okay, we have Silly Goose on well, Shinobi versus no. Explorer on Entangle. You're supposed to play Leo. It, it's a Swiss bracket. There are six rounds. Oh, sorry, Ramen. <laughs> Dude, that jab beta doing so much chip damage. You see that? Shinobi, a very light AC. Those Forever Legs do not give it a lot of defenses, nor uh, the Forever Arms as well don't give it a lot of defenses. I believe Silly Goose has actually done the Risa strat, which is purge the Rensetsu. Yeah. I mean, the Rensetsu. And just play his health boost with the Haldeman. I'll be, homie, I'll, I'll be real with you, homie. The, the Rensetsu AR would not be doing anything. Rensetsu AR is ass. That is a that is a Ooh, joke weapon. Is this, that is a psyop weapon, dude. <laughs> Silly Goose getting vertically kited right now. One of Hammer's weaknesses. Yeah, I, I'm I'm actually very very proud of Explorer here. This movement is is very good into them. Also, the Jeff Bait is trading stagger. Double no stagger. Way. And Goose just can't land any hammers. Dude, they are staying perfectly outside the range of this hammer. This is wonderful play from from Explorer here. Explorer, another name I do not recognize. We're getting so many new players here that are just playing out playing so well. This is wild. Good damage though. That might oh, be game. Hammer no, moment. Not. The hammer. Hammer moment. No way. I, I think that was lethal. I think that was lethal. That was definitely lethal. It's got Formeza arms. That was like the third. The, I think like the fourth highest melee spec, correct? That was so tragic. Ain't no way that just happened. Leo, are you playing? I can. I can un. 
Uh, I can unwithdraw you. There, y'all play. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if uh, Goose can actually uh, bring this back. Because honestly, Goose just needs to start kicking. Like kicking the. Goose kick has the chosen to keep the Rensetsu because of the vertical kiting. And if we look at the stagger bar, I think it's actually helping. I mean, that's I it. Ooh, good damage, and actually uh, taking a big chunk of that PA as well. But because of that pulse gun on a uh, on entangle, you kind of just like shred your opponent's PA. Yeah, I agree. The Rensetsu AR thing is is pretty good in this matchup, actually. It's key to winning this matchup right now. And there it Ooh. is. A demanding victory here. <laughs> Leo, there are six Three rounds of Swiss, my dude. 40 seconds. That was, dude, the adaptation from from Zilligus here. I do like the, I do like, okay. I hate on Intensu AR a lot, but it is better than nothing. It's better than literally no weapon, so. <laughs> well, when you're getting vertical kited, you can't really take advantage of the assault through shotguns. But Zilligus cleaning up the movement to get kicks off as well. The jab beta also connecting. But Can the hammer movement again! The hammer movement him. again! Why? Those are so rare, and yet it's happened twice to Silly Goose here. I don't think it's gonna matter much, because I think Silly Goose has this. Silly Goose has figured it out. Yeah. So we're gonna want to see some soul. adaptation from Entangle. Maybe some more cover usage, because right now they're kind of just in open air, which you do not agree with. Big damage from that hammer. Going close to the halt for the Haldman. Yeah, Silly Commanding lead by Silly Goose. There's Silly no Goose chance. Drop these. And there it's we go. over. With all of the big space ports. Mm -hmm. The Javelin Beta is either going to... If they fight in the air, the Jab Beta will be fine, but if they're fighting, like, all around the messy cover, the Jab Beta is going to suffer. Yeah, because Jab Beta also uh, comes out on the left side for, um, for Shinobi over here, so... Uh, not Shinobi, uh, for Tangle over here, which means that, like, it, 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 like, starts from whatever side it's on and goes, like, out and then towards your opponent, which means you're going to have to be very careful, like, where you're positioning yourself when you shoot out your Jab Beta, because it'll just go right into the, spa into the spaceship. Which, you know, is bad. You don't want that to happen. Expansion's already popped by Explorer. Silly Goose keeping the pressure. Going for the bubbles. The bubbles actually do a lot of damage, especially to a lightweight like Shinobi. Unfortunately missed that Javelin Beta. Again with the vertical kiting, we ended up on Spaceport, but we're not using any of the cover. This matchup is no different than the CDA. Yeah, I, I, this, is, this is my biggest issue. It's like, the only reason that Silgus won that last one was because they, they started A being into them and like, you know, getting kicks and Haldman's and hammers off. If you just play around the cover and keep the cover difference between you and Shinobi, you can just win mm -hmm. on like AP difference. So the Goose has AP lead but lost sight of Entangle. Entangle's also like looking around. I can't, they don't know where they are. 40 seconds left. That's a very good issue. It's so hard to find your opponent. <laughs> Ooh, Ghost has the swin burn. Oh, the, the hammer the moment! Surprise hammer! Dude, that, that, I thought that if that connected, I would have screamed. <laughs> and there it is. Explorer yeah. goes down. They could have just, just just hit at that point. That is true effort. That's something I see about preset. Like a lot of pre, a lot of heads in this game have pretty bad scan. So if your opponent has bad scan, you can just get AP lead then run. <laughs> and it's like you can't find me because your scan sucks. Like let's say they have Basho head. Which is my favorite head in the game, but it has terrible scan. You could just, like, run away. Yeah, Silicus Prism. Thank you. Stop every phase. Yeah, I know. I, I, gotta, I gotta get the, gotta get the habit of that. AP lead actually on Entangle's side here. If Entangle can just, like, stay again, away from Silly Goose, it should be fine. Again, we're fighting into the skies above open plains. This is not where Entangle wants to be. I agree. Especially because, like, any moment now that hammer's gonna come out. Look, there it is, right there. Actually, just going for one swing to get the Halbin off, that was very smart by Silly Goose. You can tell they use that hammer very, very well. They use that hammer all the time. Silly Goose was one of the first adopters of hammer for BVO. Yeah. And I believe the only one that still plays it, so... <laughs> <laughs> yep. Explorer gonna get some for this job beta, and that should be game. That's game. There it is, Silly Goose takes it 2-0. Okay. Trainer AC is back. Versus Jisoo Kermit, Kermit, which is also back. Uh, Robin has a thing this afternoon. It's the, they don't want to play, which is fine. Okay. 
Let's do it. So we saw trainer. We saw the power of trainer AC earlier in this tournament. Let's see if they can do it again. Trainer AC again. I I think people are sleeping on it. It's so strong. <laughs> it's so good. Maybe it won't be as good against Jesus Terminator because the thing is, Jesus Terminator is is just as fast, but has this one G, which I think is the X factor here. Hermit is winning the damage trades right now, but it's still very, very close. Mm -hmm. Like, the Sagar It's too close to actually tell. Yeah, this is very even. Because it's going back and forth, like, repeatedly. The trainer AC is now eking out the advantage, and has the Sagar lead. Uh, yes, Rico. Let's see. That's the Sagar? That's a huge, that's a a huge amount of damage. solid damage. That's no a huge amount of damage. Shot. The Ludlow just chipping away. And because of how light Trainer is, that after recovery is kicking in already. It's an uphill battle now for Hermit. They have to land those Wanjis. There it is. But not enough to equalize the AP. And now the stability is. Lampard's trying to go. I'm going to get that add to recovery back in. Add to recovery goes down a little bit, but not enough. Charge, charge shot does not connect. They're going for Another charge shot. That one hits. They're crazy. The Ludlow with the chip follow up as well. Dude, the Ludlow. I believe Trainer AC still has expansion. Yeah, they do. They do. But the attitude recovery again, just from the duration of popping expansion. Dude, Trainer AC. I I'm, I'm, I'm a huge believer in Trainer AC. Ain't no way, dude. That's insanity. This is insanity. And there we Trainer have it. AC. It wasn't even close. Dude. Half AP remaining, and they had their expansion? Excuse me? Excuse me? By the way, gamers, uh, so Iguazu is lighter and faster, but it has worse EN supply for it cannot fly forever, unlike Trainer AC. Because Iguazu's AC does have a shield, but it's also on Mal like a Malander C3 core. And Melander C3 uh, frame. And again, just the stability war. The stagger war is heavily in the trainer AC's favor right now. Miss that, miss that charge curse, and that might actually change things. No, the charge curse connects. Doesn't go for kick, instead just goes for the level chip. Trying to get away from the trying to reach to the, the stagger, but the missiles connect. Follow up with Zanji. Good damage, good damage. Almost equal. Ooh, maybe not. That Curtis is doing so much work. What's the FCS on trainer AC? This thing seems insane. It's like Talbot? It must be Talbot. Talbot or PO5. Dude, look at that damage from the Ludlow and Curtis. Ooh, a solid Curtis into the Pulse Armor. Now's the time to press the advantage. The Pulse Armors have been exchanged. I would be backing away if I was Lapern here. Will that Pulse Armor go away? It's Talbot? That's insane. That's so good for this Ooh, AC. Ooh, the 1G is connect. That is like best All it in takes slot. Is one tagger. There it is. There it is. But oh, there's no punish. That's so unfortunate for Ball's Dep. Ooh, missing that Curtis. Lapernus If that's one G hit, that would've been insane. Lapern that's... takes it with the trainer AC. <laughs> yeah, that's called a Highlander event collect, which was done. It's not super interesting, in my opinion, but I mean, it's neat. I'm not a big fan of Highlander. Yeah, I'm not either. Anyway, I am a big fan of these two players. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like <sighs> Ball Step needs to just line up these Wanjis more because this Wanji really is like I, I mentioned earlier. It's the X factor. It builds up a lot of impact, per, a lot of impact really quickly. Like it's got a lot of burst impact to it. And you can just ship away with missiles and then go for this Wanji. Get your impact and go Curtis. for a kick. Oh, there it is. This, this, that was a horribly timed uh, charge shot. Ate all of the missiles. Big misplay from Ern here. Though I will say they got they got the stagger and. They immediately start winning AP lead again, which is kind of wild. Do people sleep on Ludlow and Curtis? It is a good combo. I wonder if we should be seeing more kicks coming out of the Hermit player. Honestly, I kind of think so. The thing is, I believe Hermit, what, what, what booster are they on? Are they on SPD or is that PO4? I can't tell. I can't tell either. I'll have to look at a moment. But like, it, it can't have, too, if, it, if it's either of them, it can't have too bad of an assault boost. So it might be the catch trainer, because this is how I beat trainer on like locksmith, and I just run it, I just go in and kick. Because there's a lot of sustained impact, but it's not a lot of burst impact, which means you can get in there. Ooh, that was well done. Good damage, but they have to they have to get out, they have to get but out there's now. No, there's no escaping this. They dodged the Curtis! 
Ooh, but, but they're staggered. They're still in. It's, so it's close. really close. They, they have, just have to play time now. They're going in. They're they playing the in the play advantage of the trainer AC. Oh, but they, they zonjied the wall. But the trainer AC is just eating all of these missiles. They see one Coquilla ricochet. It's so close. It is so close. There it is. The zonjied. There it is. What a risk taker Balls Depp was. That was the needs I, AP lead. I cannot. Balls is just gonna win. Why would why would they go in like that? That was insane. Got <laughs> a perspective swap. Finish this out on the trainer AC. ACs I believe are like thirty two feet tall or something like that. Experience. All right. Yeah, I'm on the trainer AC projective. Let's see what they can do. Because honestly, I, I I do agree with you. I think I think the missiles were the were the key factor there. Like they just need to not go for stance shots very often. Because the thing is, trainer AC is so gosh darn fast and can fly forever. So why are you standing still? <laughs> right. I wonder if there's uh, some crucial timings here with the Zwanji. If you fire it like right before the missiles connect, they force a quick boost, so the missiles can read that. Possibly. There's definitely some stuff you can do with Hermit. Hermit is a new addition to the preset meta because, again, didn't have an expansion, so nobody fucking played it. But here we are. So there's some, there's definitely some cool things you can do with it that are unexplored. Lepern definitely cleaning it up, not giving any chance to be punished with a charge shot. Yeah, so just you, committing to the chip fest. You just have more DPS and you can dodge their damage very easily. So, like, you don't really have... You can just play as safe as humanly possible, just went on timer. There's no reason That's to right. let yourself get staggered. Or let yourself get by his 1G. Focus on the fence and just and just keep holding down those triggers. And here we go. That is there what. It that, is. That, uh, it's gonna be really hard for Boss Depth to claw their way back from this one. Thirty seconds. I don't think that's enough time to even do enough, do enough damage. They have to like they would have to like, kick in the Zwan G into like this kick loops over. I don't think they even have the DPS for this, especially with Pulse Armor on deck still from Trainer AC. Come earn. This should be game. There it is. A beautiful adaption by Lapern. Very good job. Didn't fire a charge Curtis shot a single time in that entire phase. There's no reason to. Why would you why would you do it? Every time every time they did it, they got hit by something. Either it was like one missile or a Zwan G or just like a Coquillet shot. Like that damage does rack up. And that stagger especially racks up. And on a you trainer see which DPS race without it, so there's no need to. Yeah. Make Ooh, make balls that work for it. it that time. Dude, this one G. Do the chip. Dude, that Yabajin doing so much work. Yabajin is so underrated, dude. What a cool generator. That red line is ridiculous on that bad boy. Hermit trying really hard not to get the stagger with one G so they can punish with it instead. But Coquillet. the Coquillet alone is just not doing enough. The missiles Coquillet are not helping. The range. Oh, but they missed, but they still there got this one G off. They still got this one G. Ball step so close to getting staggered here. They need the they back really away. Need to reset. They have AP lead, but they're just playing into Lepern's advantage. Ball step just sees red, dude. Which is very ironic considering the AC. <laughs> oh, but you're not getting off the three. That's one G was perfectly placed. I actually really like the Curtis charge shot there to pop the pulse armor faster. It's very smart. Ballstep has this as long as they can li line up these Zwanjis more. Zwanji will stagger from this position. Can they land it? But again, they just they, they got did. it. They did land but it. But there's no follow. Missiles chipping. Maybe a kick. They have AP lead. They can just play safe. It's not worth Ballstep the, the kill. Ballstep is going insane. Dude, Ballstep. Oh, I, no wonder they choose to say C because all they see is red. Lepern versus Hermit. Balls depth. Dude, I gotta go to S strength with fucking laser blade. I'm so sad. I put it at 200 because I didn't think we would make it. I thought that it would be like, you know, maybe next patch would have come by and laser blade would have been buffed or something like that. You know, by the time we made it. But no, y'all are insane. The charge shot opener. I'm um, okay. God damn it. I'm, okay, you know what? Back, back to the match. Back, thank you, C. Lots back of cover play being used now. Yeah, that, that's what this is why you run this map to do these like kind of loop things around the around the ship. It's very very important for this like like very dynamic cover that this map has, and it's gonna make all the difference because at the moment trainer is faster. Like you can just kind of chill behind one of these spin, one of these chasers. Oh, very good lineup on that Zwan G from from Ball's Depth here. 
Lapern backing away, going above the spaceship, trying to get the re reset their attitude recovery, which they did actually do. Lapern just holding down that left trigger, regardless of whether there's a target there. And the thing is, Ludlow, Ludlow on trainer AC, like in, in the, I actually tested this. So Ludlow actually has a ricochet range of like 450 or something insane like that against the tester AC, which Hermit has similar defenses. So you're getting like one or two damage basically per second, especially on tablet FCS. Like if you are soft locked and you are, and you are like looking at your opponent, you are going to get that damage. Ludlow is, Ludlow's niche in 3v3s and even in like 1v1s if your your opponent's dumb uh, is but killing terminal armor. Like it is so good at it. It is like the best weapon in the game at killing terminal armor. It's wild. Especially on the BBS. just nerfed. not able to escape from the Hermit right now. I keep saying her Hermit instead of Ball's Step. You're fine. Lepern very close to getting second here. There it is. And this 1G. 10 seconds left for big AP lead. Point blanks 1G. The Pulse Armor has popped. There's no time! Dude just slid right into them and then swan them! And Ballstep takes it! Ballstep might win this, dude! Perspective SWAT. It looked so much- in that first game, looked hopeless for Ballstep, and here we are. Perspective swap striker. I swapped it, I, I just swapped it, I did it, I did it, don't worry. I'm sorry. I gotta come up with a new sub goal. I want to state there were multiple times on the last phase where Lepern just lost sight of his opponent. Yeah, that's a common issue on this map. It's like, it is so big and there's so much cover that it's hard to actually find your opponent. Which is why scanning is so important. The, the Melander head I don't think has the best scan, but it has decent scan. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong on that. But you should be able to scan your opponent. You should be able to keep them scanned with that head. Scanning is incredibly important because information is key in Armored Core 6. Good Swan G by Balls Depp here. Going for the Coquillet. The Coquillet does so much impact per second. It is basically just a baby Viento. On paper, the Coquillet does have higher impact per second. Than the Viento? That's crazy. On paper. On paper. Yes. It, it is not typical to actually see that happen. Because <laughs> of the range and the projectile speed. And the time to mag dump. Yeah. Yup. Here we are. Wanji does not connect. Beautiful cover work, though, being used by both of these players, trying to eke out an advantage. Ballstep has to get some damage on the board, though. 38 seconds on the clock. Ballstep losing sight of the burn for just a second. Trying to regain it. Oh, Charge no, shot straight into the dead. chip. Trainer AC the found. In the favor. But a beautiful is Wanji. Good one. Traded that, with that the might, Curtis. That might, bring, that might uh, pull things around. Ballstep has PA. No, Ballstep has PA lead. It's AB lead. They need to leave. The Zwan G connects! 10 seconds. It is currently Ballstep's lead with 10 seconds if left. Ballstep can stop seeing red for 5 seconds and just leave for. and just leave! It's close 4. It's a. The Zwan G in the last second! Secure is it! Ballstep, you're insane! Why would you do that? We do have Farquad on Dead Sled. Which I'm excited about. That's such a really good AC. I, th I think it's Hella slept on in preset meta. And then we have Belion on Hermit. Now, of course, Hermit does have PA because it has no expansion in the regular preset tab, which is dumb. So we gave it PA. Let's see what they can do. Lemcross, you think you're the sub with Prime? Appreciate it. Those ACTs going out. These that ACT. I think it's reverse oh, kick. I, kick. <laughs> I was just about to say <laughs> RJ kick into uh, a kick. Into Wooger! <laughs> RJK in the Wooger is a very strong combo. Which Ooh, but the Wooger work. was interrupted by being staggered! Ooh, good job by good job by Valayan there. Using that Zwan G's in, uh, burst stagger to get Our them. Mark still has the AP lead and he's he knows to use it. Now using the the kick into Ooh. Wooger! But staggered again! Popping PA, That's but the Zwan takes gets rid of it! Trading Wooger and Zwan G there! Farquhar close getting staggered! Get staggered! The Zwan G! The AP lead's now in. Billion's favor. Good punish by Billion there. The stagger is not. All it takes is another kick. It's a Wooger. There's the Wooger. That should be game. No, it's, it's not. So close. If they can land one Zwan G, or just a few missiles, it's over. Farquaad takes the first game. That Farquaad was takes it very that was close. so close. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Gustav, thank you for the follow. By the way, I missed that. 
Ooh, a the cheeky Swan G cheeky. snipe! Ooh, they went Stack for the kill, but they Dude, all three Zwan Gs have landed so far. He's every time Farquaad goes to start the kick, he's met with a Zwan G. It's a great idea. I mean, honestly, like, just stop them from aggressing you. We are in round four of Swiss, Nate. Oh, don't forget the software. There's the kick. Oh, true. Thank you. Far close to getting staggered here. No, can call it. Rolling with some stagger. There is some missile damage. Ooh, I will pop PA right now. There it is. You don't want to pop PA oh, close to Farquhar. Very, very comfortable AP lead now. You don't want to pop PA close to Farquhar. Farquhar does have assault armor. There it is. Play miss. And then there's the one G. But the line goes enough. down. That is not. A, <laughs> I was just about to say it's not enough. Game one goes to Farquhar. Okay, here we are. Charge up that Wooger. We're watching from Billion's oh, perspective. You're right. Fuck. There you go. Okay, we're here. <laughs> Belion. Belion. I like that tag. That's fun. I guess he's not connecting though. It did look like it did. They did. Zwan G oh, connects. Zwan G. Farquaad has to approach now. It'd be hard to make up that AP de deficit without it. So they do have LRA, which does do work. There's the, the kick. kick. Into Wooger. And the Wooger with some good LRA damage as well. Good LRA chip. This one G's just not connecting. Good map for Farquaad. Ooh. Good Wooger as well. I respect it. At this point, it's going to be very, very hard for Belion to make this up. Borderline impossible even. Both kicks whiff. Wooger connects. Ooh, quick boosting back into the Wooger. You do not want to be close to this AC. Farquaad does still have the Assault Armor. Good PA. There's a full whiff. PA here. They had to go for a kick or something. They should have taken full advantage of that PA. That PA, the PA saves them from Wooger. They a good just... dodge on the Wooger. Uh, if they can get this. Ooh. It's not enough. Getting closer and closer, they though. They need to get one more stagger. The stability is neutral. Good Zwan one kick. All they need to do is dodge Wooger. Wooger's been dodged. 30 seconds on the clock. Don't let him escape. Dude, the split missiles! The split missiles reset stagger! That's huge! A lot of pressure Ooh, on Farquaad. Farquaad. position to get the... There's Ruger the Ruger there the Stains! They used this one G! That was... I'm gonna go on a limb here and say that was probably an experience gap between the two players. Farquaad is a very experienced player and understood that with the spacing created off of the stagger, he could escape. Billion did not realize that Farquaad was in a position to disengage fast enough. Well, I don't agree with that Zwanji. That was that was all four. All, that was all of those MLTL four missiles in the face. But Zwanji, he dodged it. That Zwanji missed. What the hell? Hold on, we're watching. We're watching four cards right now. Oh, you right, sorry. Good damage. Ooh, the kick actually got that. Ooh, but the the weir connects at that range. Still very even on AP on AP difference here. Orqua knows that he can reset a stagger now. He has AP lead, so he's gonna play the defensive game with the Ruger. That was the Ruger disconnect. That was insane. That was insane. Lying in wait, Farquaad was, and there's the AA. Oh, AA does and not the connect. AA. But he whiffs again. He was able to get honestly. The kick follow up. Looks one G, but it's traded with the Ruger. Billy has to run. Not. Bill has to get out. That Ruger's almost cannot escape out. this, and it's GG. My God. Dude, Billiam's another player I need to watch out for. That does seem good, doesn't it? It's, uh, yeah, use code seven year for 50% off. Which is kind of wild. There you go. We have Pie Guy on Shinobi versus Mito Baggy <laughs> on Main on... Deep Down. <laughs> 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 the most cursed as fuck shit. I I love when Mito Baggy joins my fight clubs because they they jump in with the most cursed ACs. It's so funny that they have a made for I think every preset, which is just awesome. Very talented player when it comes to, uh, to their painting Beautiful skills. Dodge. Is that Certain. Curtis or Harris on the... Uh... Deep Down has Harris, which is very spooky. Deep Down has ACT2, uh, some vertical missiles that I don't care about because of vertical missiles. 
Uh, MLT-04 and Harris, which is very strong, actually. Basically, imagine a missile bot, but it has Harris as a punish. You know, it can be very spooky. It's one of the best presets, in my opinion. <laughs> I needed Robin's announcer voice coming out of a crusty Wii Remote mic. <laughs> 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 Me when I choose Steel Haze and Brawl. I, I won't miss. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I oh, won't good miss. Harris, and then into the kick. Harris and a kick. Heavy as heavy as hell. AC, so that that kick gives a lot of damage. Ooh, it's not a double stagger though. Paga needs to. Paga needs to the hit these. Uh, before he gets staggered, so they don't take the hammer. Paga needs to start hitting these hitting these kicks, hitting these hammers. That is why Shinobi is so gosh darn good. Paga needs a lot more assault boost movement than this. Yeah, right, right now they're playing Shinobi like Subasa, which is not how you want to play this AC. It is not have the firepower for that. You do not play this like a lightweight kite. You you run trainer AC for that. Ooh. And that's and game. That's phase one. Did the vertical missile kill them? They were like spiked downwards. I think that was a vert kill. It was. It was. <laughs> Swapping perceptives? This is deep down, white for short. Why are you standing there? Metabag just wanted to show off the, the fucking decals, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. such a goober, dude. Good dude. I found Metabagan in the scuff cup. Oh it was my very gosh. close. And Metabagan was just like, I hope I put the fear of God into you. Oh my god. What a scary ass thing to say. Speaking of fear of God, good lord, dude, this has been such a one-sided match so far. Pygot needs to start hitting these kicks. Pygot needs, needs to start being so much more aggressive with Pygot this hammer. To, yeah, I agree 100%. The whole point of Shinobi is that you are extremely fast and you have the best melee weapon in the game. On for Meza Arms, which aren't that bad when it comes to firearm spec. Barrel then again, in Paris. with all of these vertical missiles flying, you don't want to enter stance. Vertical missiles do not do enough damage to, per to dissuade you from doing that, I don't think. That it has. So if you dodge Harris and you just focus on defensive play, which is what kites are really good at, this fucking <laughs> white <to> teabag, dude. <laughs> uh. You can get a lot of stuff done. Excellent movement so far by Medallion. Ooh, but stuck on the crane. Oh, stuck, on the, stuck, on the, stuck on the wall, no! Ooh, this one G traded with the Harris. And the it's first trade. ship. I, I would not have gone for that stance. That was so risky. You save that little gem for when you when you need to do a when you need to do a punish. You do not use it all. Oh, the Harris connects. So Subasa's game plan. This is just plan. way too liberal of use of the Zwanji. So Subasa's Zubasa, Zubasa, little gem. Subasa's game plan is to get is to get is to play very defensively and build up stagger slowly with Rensetsu RF and as Etsujin. And then use the little gem as a punish. You do not go for it raw ever because you are so gosh darn light. Your defenses are basically nothing. So stancing yeah, is I a agree terrible 100%. idea. And then the little gem was just too late to be shot there. Yeah, because the little gem is on your right shoulder, you can keep shooting the Rensetsu RF while you have it out. So you can finish up the stagger with the Rensetsu RF and then immediately shoot the little gem and then swap back to the Atsujin and go back and like back away from your opponent. That is Tsubasa's game plan. That's how you play this preset I see. And I, I need to see. A lot more careful play from my guy here. I, Starting I like, with the pulse protection, I'm like pulse not protection. a big fan of this. So if you if you know how pulse protection works, uh, the person who places it can shoot through it. So it is not just a wall. They can just like sit inside of it. Or better than that, play around it. Keep your opponent inside of it so that you can play like around the walls. And I do agree with you. I think, I think popping it late into the game is much more impactful. I think post protection is one of those uh, things that gets progressively Ooh. better the later into the round it is. There's that little gem damage that I was talking about earlier. That's, this is exactly how you play Subasa. Good shit, the pie guy. Yeah, this is textbook right here. I've got the swap perspective. I'm fucked up. <laughs> but you remembered that you forgot, so this is a step in the right direction. True. Good little gem damage from pie guy. Pie guy really cleaning up their play here. I am proud of them. I am very happy to see this movement now. I believe Meteor still has their expansion though, correct? Uh, no. It was already popped. Really? This should be, this should be their game then. There it is. 
They take a face. Good God. Good job, the pie guy. The adaptation. The, the, uh... They realized that they were doing something wrong and then corrected it immediately, which is really hard. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I agree. Okay, I'm gonna swap into that to Tsubasa. Kona Durox is a preset tournament held yesterday on PlayStation Open Faith one? That's kind of cool. Which one is Open Faith? Snail. Oh, wow. Bell-bottom jeans guy with Lance. Alright, we're gonna see a lot, a lot more kiting. Pyga just needs to just not connecting. Pyga just needs to stay in this, uh... <laughs> Pyga just needs to stay, Ooh. like, doing what they're doing. Whoa, 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 what the heck was that? The hug, Dude, the hug! Do they try I'm to scare- sorry, bro, I didn't mean it! Was that- was that mind game? Did they try to scare them into using their pulse protect- uh, that pulse, the pulse armor? It, it's possible! Oh, but the Harris connects! No follow-up, though! They didn't have anything- they didn't have anything to follow up. The, the, you were supposed to save Beautiful the Harris little for gem the, work. uh... You were supposed to save the Harris for the punish. But sadly, they weren't able they're to. about even on AP. Pulse protection has been dropped. The Harris does not connect. Fighting inside the pulse protection. This is exactly how you use it. If I was beta bagging, the pulse protection pops. I just disengage. I'll come back later. Yeah, it only lasts for 25 seconds. The kick. Good damage. This could be the it. The charge Harris connects, I think. I would back away if I was Tsubasa right now. I would back away. You need that to recover kick. And the only way you lose this now is if you get staggered. Ooh, if that Harris connected, it would have been game over. Harris. This is a really dangerous game he's playing. There's right there. And that's game. Pie guy Beautiful takes it. Beautiful performance. Pie guy cleaning it up. Hell yeah. I feel like Steel Haze is a okay, decent choice Tsubasa. against Tsubasa. No. Steel Haze is a decent choice against Tsubasa, yeah. But like, I, I think this is one of the worst, worst matchups for a locksmith. Like, you have to just, like, pray, like, pray like drones hit and just go for, like, Morley's. Which, that's not how you go for Morley. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Yeah, Les Blade's gonna be really hard to hit here. That laser blade can be punished every time with a little gem. Yep. I this I do not agree with this matchup, dude. Oh. Mito Baggin. Just wanted to show off the I mean, hey, if they can get a charge laser blade right now... It's stuck in the corner! There it is. But there's no follow-up because of the ledge! No, they actually get they got the Morley! Hit. They got the Morley! That was so lucky! If you now in... That was so favor. incredibly lucky. Why was Pie Guy down leave. there? Pie Guy is on Gridwalker. Watchmith can just leave and go hide in the rat hole. Yeah, one thousand percent. That honestly, that's what you should do. There's a spot on Jorgen you can pretty easily hide in, and they're not going to it. They're, they're electing to lose. Oh, the only way they could lose, and they found it. I don't know. The Turner's doing work, and the Turner actually takes it. No way, oh. dude. Oh, it's close. I guess with Tsubasa's, like, such low, so, such low defenses on Tsubasa, the Turner does actually do meaningful chip damage. I don't know, Duroxus, because we haven't done a preset tournament in a long time. No, it's not a good place. I, honestly, I, I, I mentioned this earlier when we saw Locksmith on stream before. Uh, the play here is to go for kicks. Because if you can kick them, you can then laser blade them, and that will just stun. Like every time someone throws out a raw laser blade. I know, right? It's like, Ooh, it, it's, really such not that one. <laughs> it's such a bad idea. Why would you do it? It is, it is meant as a landing punish tool. That is the that is the that is the point of the weapon. But Tsubasa just winning the chip war. It's gonna take another laser blade catch, and there, oh, it, is. there it is. But it's in the wicked. It's so blade. sad. Dude, laser blade takes soul on the charge up. Why did they do this to my boy? Oh, that was so tragic. All right, here we go. We're well, looking for a little bit of chip. That is meaningful. If these laser drones can do damage, I mean... Dude, the pulse protection play. I, Subas is so cool. Mm, they, need, they need, like, just one meaningful hit. I mean, if they can land a laser blade... It's definitely not over. 
You just heavily into the two bosses' favor. I think this is game. Yeah, one thousand percent. Oh my god! Yeah. If that laser, dude, they need to increase the charge up time on that thing. If that had gone off, that might have connected. It was super close. Actually, it was kind of far away. I take it back. But if they were closer, <laughs> that was the time to use it. I think the spacing was off though. So I'm at the locksmith gameplay. Again with this the is protect leave, buff early. Leave, I just disagree leave. with this. Just play. leave. It's 20. I really minutes. disagree with this. It has a 25 second timer. Just leave. Don't play into it. Don't play around it. Just run. Your laser oh, and Smeed had the AP lead, but still chose to go in. You, ah, you, the AP lead is so important in competitive armor core six because the whole point of it, the whole point of the timer and the arrow and everything, is to force your opponent to come to you. If you are fighting against a rat player and you have AP lead, like a, a, like a missile bot or a rat or just like a lightweight kite or whatever, you need to get them to come to you. That is the whole point of the timer. It is what makes like lightweight builds viable. And what also creates good counterplay to lightweight builds when you have a bad matchup. Like right now. I think they're just wasting Turner ammo at this point. They gotta get a little bit closer. Vasa does have the AP lead though, so they could kind of yeah. just chill out here if they really wanted to. So there you go. You gotta chase them now with the assault boost. You, you can't just like boost towards them. So Vasa has a three, like 364 boost speed. Like, you are not going to catch them on Locksmith. You have to Assault Boost. You're, you're like 460 Assault Boost speed, I think, something like that. Like, you are not slow at all. See, there's some damage. There you go. But it's not enough. It's not, but you got 30 seconds to make it enough. There's 30 seconds left. Pulse Armor's in pop. If you're going to Assault Boost, now is the time to do it. They're popping Pulse Armor just standing there. Why? What happened? Was that a red line? It what might kind of have been. Uh, I believe Locksmith is on VB20... VB20S, I think? Something like that? It's the, like, the, the more that thick of really the two. To watch. Oh, and there they go. Oh, VE, I see. You have about 20 seconds left. Go check, go predict. Melzbeth on Mind Alpha, which I am a huge fan of. This is a really cool AC. 15 Hopefully seconds left on predictions. It. Get them in. Get them in. <laughs> and we have Meek Maiden on a pink deep down. I like it. I am glad I, I am glad I allowed people to do that. Uh, I actually, I don't want to do that, Heidi, because then Umbrox would be it, just the best one. Because the only thing holding Umbrox back is the FCS. So yeah. I, uh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> that's just, that's just all my 28,000 points onto Sabbath. 28,000 points? Versus 5.5 thousand for Meat Maiden. That's wild. If Meat Maiden wins this, that's a huge payoff for chat. The hammer? The stagger's really high. The pop popping the post protection early. They need to hit those kicks. The neutral hammer oh, disconnects. Oh, that's Boshi. Oh, cool. And the stagger. Meat Maiden is Boshi. I, I remember I remember that player from a while back. What was the name? Uh, Boshi. I don't recognize. Uh, I think it was before your time, even. It was a while back. Damn. Okay, let's see. Go for those neutral hammers. The neutral hammers are putting in a lot of work here. But it's not enough. We need two direct hit hammers in order to win this. It's just not There's enough damage. One. Yeah, they, they need to get need a to... Kick, into, kick into a bazooka. Deep down takes it. Yeah, that's down. There's one. Oh, Bachi. Thank you. Thank you, Vamsi. All right, let's see. Bachi does sound familiar, actually. Purge in the orbit, which I'm kind of down with. Did they do that last game? I forget. No. Okay. No. Uh, make sure to swap to Maiden. I did, yeah. Oops. Big damage. Honestly, I don't know... <sighs> What does Mind Alpha do here? What, what's the what's the Mind Alpha game plan that needs to happen here? I think constant assault boosts and just going for the kick. I can see that. Like trying to read their quick their quick boost. Good damage. But the damage was not for free. They eat both of the ACT missiles off of the dual hammer. Pull, pull armor's off. But no EN, they can't approach! The AP lead is in Tabith's favor. She could choose to just play defensively now. Much more not. That hammer Surprise was hammer. insane! Hammer direct hit! That hammer was so close! 
I'm surprised it wasn't a hammer moment. I'm surprised it didn't just like go off off in anywhere. <laughs> This match shows how midweights can't do anything. A midweight won a tournament Wednesday. Oh, that was beautiful. What do you mean? <laughs> midweights are goaded in this game. Ooh, good kick to Hammer. The midweight is winning right now. Both the Stagawar and the AP lead. Into the kick! Into the Hammer! Into the hammer! But the, the second, the second hammer, hammer is too far! The ACT is connecting! Oh, this is really bad. The Hammer! Hammer. Millsmouth takes it! It wasn't drones, it was orbits. Orbits are, uh, very bad. And, uh, it, it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of EN load, so purging is a good idea. Yo-yo too short? Yep, I agree. Let's buff yo-yo. I'm down. <laughs> Crab Knight meta. Let's do it. Yeah, no, mid midweights were 100% viable. I play a midweight. Good damage from Maiden here. I'm swapping back to uh, Melzabeth POV. Not a good kick. Ooh, Ooh can't, gotta get can't close, gotta get close. I think that hammer connected. Yeah, that, that, that both hammers connected. That was wild. Ain't no way. A good Big kick. Plans. Good kick. Amazing the hammer damage from Yeah, yeah. That's 1.05 fixing that hammer bug. Good javelin, good javelin alpha. Good kick. Good hammer! Good oh, hammer! Everything! There it is. The stars aligned! Ramen has it's no bias towards their threes teammate, I swear! <laughs> what? Tee hee? Most of Beth is your is threes teammate, isn't it? Aren't they? Tee hee? Oh, tee hee, I see. <laughs> Neutral hammer, but honestly, very close to getting staggered here. I would back away if I was Mouth Bath. Get your attitude recovery kick in. Ooh, there it is. There and this is the javelin alpha to finish it off. That was awesome. That was a good game. Very intense fight, no. This is I am now uncomfortable. <laughs> Alright, we're watching from uh from Meat Maiden's perspective, I believe, right? Or let's do it. He is bocce themed. Okay. Find Kraken says it's bam it's spam meat. Ah, oh, well there you go. Bocce. Good damage from Meat Maiden here. Mosbath almost to a stagger. Very, actually, very, very close. Getting that kick. Ooh, but no hammer! Mosbath needs this stagger. Ooh. Early pulse armor, I agree with that. Forcing the PA. PA popped. No pops the PA. Mosbath can't yeah. capitalize on Their it. PA the PA was already gone. From the Javelin, Javelin Beta. No kick connects. Ooh, with the Javelin Alpha, the Javelin Beta definitely did. There's the kick. Oh, but I think I'm double staggered! Oh, but they were still to do it! It's not enough. It's just not enough damage. It might be, if they can avoid missiles. I don't think, I don't think Harris can blink them down fast enough. Oh, no, never mind, I can. <laughs> I was wrong. I think it was missile kill. Oh, was it missile kill? Okay. Yeah, because uh, Mel opted to shoot the bazooka, which got them killed. Here we are. Swapping the Melzabeth. Actually keeping the orbit this time, which honestly might not be a bad idea. And I feel like you can go either way, because like orbit will do a, some meaningful chip damage. And they were super close to getting a stagger multiple times, so any little bit of impact will help. My only concern is like the uh is just the the uh, EN load. Because you want to be assault boosting all the time with this mm -hmm. AC. Also, God, that's so much damage from deep down. This is not looking good. They're not even activating the orbit. They have to activate the orbit again because they got kicked. There it is. Good kick. Well, the PA is coming out. This does not look good for Mel. It is not. Good kick though. Does not connect with the follow-ups. Ooh, the hammers. Enough game. Meet Maiden takes the second game. game. Two. All the time. Nothing else matters. Just just go for damage. The purge coming out this time. Yeah, which honestly, like, I I wonder how much supply frequency you gain from purging the orbit. Because it's probably a lot. This orbit's pretty EN heavy. Orbit is very hungry. I think Javelin Beta just flew straight into the wall. Again, Javelin Beta just straight into the wall. 
Yeah, gotta remind it goes like it goes on a weird like wide angle from outside of your AC on Ooh. the left side of your AC on my alpha. Oh, staggered already. With the follow up, I wouldn't have gone for that second hammer there. If you're going for neutral hammer, only do one hammer. Ooh, good damage though. Both PS coming out from both players. Javelin Beta tracking. Javelin Beta does connect. That's a lot of burst impact. If she can get one kick in the, into the hammer. Ooh, but hammer, hammer misses. Ooh, but still doing it again. Do you need to only do one? Counter kick. Dodges the bazooka. One from those stakes. Oh. connecting. Oh. You gained 2,000 Ian supply efficiency? Ain't no way, Jun Kumon. That is so much. <laughs> Purge that orbit every single time. What the hell? Hey, you know what? You gained 2,000. That's ridiculous. Go for the Javelin Alpha Snipe. That does have only, I believe, an eight, a 5 proximity, so the hitbox is not very big on that. Here we are, getting kind of caught on the terrain there. Both players are at a pretty neutral point. The kick is connected. The second hammer doesn't hit. Now Pulse Protect has been popped. Mel is very high on stagger right now, and the kick does connect. Popped the early Pulse Armor. But again, just can't seem to capitalize with the Pulse Armor. She's struggling to get but kicks. But can't capitalize. There you go, there's some good damage. Big damage. I don't like the Javelin Alpha afterwards. I think you need to focus more on repositioning. I don't think you need the Greed for damage. Especially with, with something like taking the hammer, you you can, you, you have the AP lead. You don't need the Greed that, man, that, that much. And they can go in for damage. Good Javelin Alpha. But hammer is just too short. They have to position themselves in more of like a mid range. Mel does have the AP lead. She could just disengage and play safe. 40 seconds on the clock. That is definitely a viable but choice. But for the kick. Into the Javan Alpha, a lot of impact. The stagger never reset. It's big damage. Neutral hammer. I think these Javan Alpha placements are, are very mis misdone because like oh, you're, and you're stands for so long. So you're basically it's going, like you're basically going for two AP. hammers again. And that's game. The quick was forward in the hammer. That was very good. But the, Melzabeth is doing this thing where they, they are, sh she is shooting off the hammer and then going for this 1G, which just ma makes it that they're standing in, in place for like three whole seconds. It's the same thing as going for two hammers in a row. Like, you, just, you don't do that. It is a bad idea. Yeah. This is the last phase of this fight. Let's see, let's see who wins. Going the Melzabeth POV. Turn to snipe with that, that, uh, that Javelin Alpha. Unable to. Melzabeth losing the AP war here. Ooh, good job on Alpha though. Lined it up pretty well. And the job beta connects. That's just a, that's just a kick hammer away from a huge AP, dis AP discrepancy. But the AC is being reset. Stagger. Yeah. The Javelin beta and the hammer connect the at the same time. Beta, no way. That was awesome. Do a neutral hammer into this 1G. No, actually, you go with that one because you already had pulse protection. Oh, the hammer, the hammer missed. Hit? The hammer whiffed. No punish. Kicked into the path of the javelin. Well, that's playing so aggro right now. AB Good into damage. hammer. Just the one. That was excellent. That was perfect for Melzabeth there. That javelin bait is going to connect. There it is. And now choosing to play it safe. 49 seconds of the clock. Melzabeth can 100% just chill here. Let now come to you. Another hammer is connected. And that's game. Good job to Melzabath. And Melzabath Good showing by it. both players. What an intense three matches that was. And the edge walk to finish it off. Got it. Confirm. All right, we have Prolica's Nightfall. Oh, you know, you go. You do the intro, Ramen. Versus Thane with Steel Haze. The first Steel Haze we've seen. Apparently, there are other players that are playing it, like Koza. But we haven't seen Steel Haze on tournament yet, uh, on, on stream yet. And we haven't seen Nightfall either. I wonder if we see a single Steel Haze in top 8. Maybe! We will have to see. 
So you mentioned that this is still Steel Haze's favorite, and you, you do play Steel Haze. You got fourth place in the last Frito tournament with it. Anything you want to, any insights on this matchup, Roman? Nightfall just can't keep up. It's just that simple. The Songbirds are dead weight. The duo missiles aren't really going to do much. So should they purge the Songbirds then? I would, I'd argue yes, but like, the biggest mistake was bringing Nightfall into this match. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just don't agree with any of Nightfall's builds philosophy. I see. Yeah, Nightfall. Nightfall doesn't really have anything. The charge slicer. Important. That huh? was insane. That was Into insane. Counter bunked. <laughs> <laughs> charge slicer gaming. Think about it. I mean, hey, you're you're a big charge slicer fan. It does beat out kick, which is pretty cool. That was uh, that was such a, a hopeful hell bunker. <laughs> I think if it, just a single poke would have finished it. Yeah, I, I think so too. Pelica the, the with P10, a sizable advantage now. The P10 heavily booster, punished. The P10 boosters, which is what Nightfall is rocking, does not have the best melee spec or melee firearm. Both uh, players melee still have through. their assault armors, I believe. If I was Perlica now, I would just go put my back into a corner and wait for the Steel Ace to approach. <laughs> just chill and then explode. Exactly. Like that's exactly what I would do. Not a bad idea, honestly. This is feeling pretty unwinnable now for the Steel Ace player. They in the clock. Why are they going in? They're insane. There's the damage. There you go. I, I, I know I know we do this a lot where uh, we're like, why are they going in? Why are they doing this? They could just win. Because it's a tournament. You can just win if you force them to approach you. Getting AP leave is so important because it forces your opponent to make a play. Your, play. your opponent has to play risky to be able to beat you. And the songbird has been, songbird has been purged. Lame, it's a tournament. Play lame. Win! <laughs> but Good it does it does depend on your goal. If your if your goal is to have fun, then I completely get it. But if your goal is to win, then you know, play the timer. Mango greater than Hbox. Hbox was the best player in the world for a long ass time for good reason. <laughs> Anyway. I'm still A's just doing some impressive kite work. That tur that Turner's actually doing some pretty good work. Is oh, that no, that's we need to switch right? to Steel Haze's perspective. Oh, true, you're right. Thank you. And here's the stagger. No punish. Whoa, whoa, whoa that might have been actually really good. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? They got it's a pretty creative use of their abilities. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome! Dude, what? <laughs> they ran right through the assault armor with the charged <laughs> slicer. Is that why they didn't get staggered? Did they get the 30% like impact mm -hmm. reduction from the charged slicer? I think they're out range of the assault armor. Or they're like at the edge of it. Oh my god, that was so freaking funny, dude. That was awesome. No tactics, just burr. Ooh, I think that was just a fail to swap. I think so too. Good kick. I think one of the songbirds hit too. We need to switch back to to nightfall. Thank you. I'm very bad at that. Good damage from both players here. I like the kicks from Perlika. I think you're 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 very right. The, the kicks from Perlika have been very good. Good songbird snipe. No punish. Again, they're just going for these charge slicer punishes. Oh! Counter bunked! That was insane! No way! Instant punish! What the fuck? We will uh, take a 20 minute break for players to rest. We on, we on uh, Steel Haze perspective, right? perspective, right? What? Yeah. Here we got it. Alright, thank you for like a game two. Good shit with those 3 p.m. 3 p.m. is underrated, dude. Good ass missile. I like it. I, I think, I, yo, new VPM though. Think about it. <laughs> Since VPM was nerfed, we now have that 3 p.m. <laughs> 3 p.m. grind set. 3 p.m. grind set. But is it better than MLT6? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Still hates with those paper thin defenses. No Nightfall. big damage going out towards Nightfall. Yeah, the 3PMs are doing a lot of chip damage in the Rensetsu RF is Ooh, doing it. Reset, the stagger got reset. 
You know, right now they're just kind of kiting with each other. I'm not sure what Nightfall's game plan is here. Like, do you... Like, <sighs> you're just kind of outgunned here, right? Like, it seems like such a bad matchup. Like, if you line up a Pomboger, it's over, but... The, the Nightfall player is currently winning the AP War. Wait, no, they're no, not. No, they're not. Yeah, I was about to say, no, they're hella not. I have it backwards. I had it backwards. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's weird. I know. Yeah. The stagger's about to come out on Nightfall. If we get a single slicer uncharged, maybe a QB slide into it if need be. I'm really not a big fan of this big vertical movement. Yeah, you want you want to be more grounded with Steel Haze. That's like the point of the that's the point of the Knockrider legs. But you play Steel Haze like BVO. Like a uh, BVO. Yeah. You play it like just like a of course, uh, this is just one of the downfalls of Nightfall. Is that Nightfall's kit is not very competitive. Yeah. They, like Nightfall just loses all of these trades. Outgunned. As it, you said. It's like it has a scutter, which is already not great, because Turner, according to a lot of players, is just better. Uh, yeah. and if it's better you than a scu uh... if, if Turner's better, the weapon is bad. <laughs> if <laughs> if I'm comparing it to Turner and I'm saying the Turner is is stronger, that's a bad weapon. I think uh, I think this is a fail swap. Player forgot to swap and now they're punished for it. Maybe? I, th I don't think Pro I think Prolika might have just been playing Nightfall the entire tournament. This is round six, after all. No, I meant uh, the Steel Haze did not swap to the Rintetsu. Oh, I and see. And just yeah, threw yeah. out a neutral slicer for no reason. Oh, I see. I wasn't even paying attention to that. I'll be real. <laughs> good kick. Good oh, kick. One last and the Songbird. Ooh. Oh, this is really good position for Steel Haze. At this point, I'd be going in AB, looking for a kick. Trying to get as much sampu as I can. This is a good chance to punish, but again with the charge slicer. Oh, but the charge slicer worked though. It connected, but there was a free slicer. Nah, 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 nah. Charge slicer hype. Charge slicer's hype. The phase is gonna be decided off of that charge slicer. And there's the That was just a win. That was a win that was thrown away. Oh no. I, I don't know if they had time. Did they have time for that? I felt like they had time for that. I don't know if they did. We play hype here, not safe? Yeah, you play you play that way and you lose. And then you're sad. <laughs> yeah, charge slicer is a really slow startup. I mean Ramen would know. Ramen is the like the slicer guy, so. Well, if, any, if anyone would know if they, if they had time, it would be ramen. I feel like they yeah, might Sarah. have just barely had time. But either way, I wouldn't have gone for Trud Slicer. They're playing and again, still... like if they weren't, if this player was not bunny hopping a lot like this, they they're, could have punished right there. They're playing massively. this. They're playing this AC like like they're Subasa. Subasa, exactly. Yeah. It's like Subasa, but with a slicer instead of a little gem, which is just worse for this playstyle. It, it's kind of interesting. They're definitely leaning towards. Uh, Kinetic hiding, which can work, but I just think that's not playing into Steel Haze's strengths. It's definitely also not good for this matchup. Like this matchup, you want to be close. That Going was for the ballsy. A bomb into a neutral slicer, counter bunked. Oh wow! Oh my god! But then the AA, and then they're dead. That that was very interesting to watch. What? But, um, <laughs> that's match. All right, that's match. Then takes it. Okay, we have Goose on Shinobi. We saw this player earlier, and they played very, very well. So I'm excited. Again, one of the best lightweight players in the entire game. And then we have <laughs> Testament on Entangle, which has a beautiful little paint job on it. I like it. Goose them up real good. So the I agree Goose coming out at 5.2k versus Testament 6.2k. For the channel prediction? Yeah. Gosh darn Pang coin. Which I am naming it Pencoin because you decided to start calling it PP and I don't like that. Then don't name it PP. That's a good point. I'll get Pokemon on the phone. <laughs> Alright, so I looked into actually keep the Rentitu AR, which is very interesting because like a lot of people just don't. A lot of people will just like uh, purge the Rentitu AR. I think it's helping a lot. I really think it's okay in this. Maybe the buff, because it did get buffed in 1.05, did it not? Uh, I guess with the I buff it's now better. It did actually. I remember. I remember from the leaks. Yeah, he got buffed. Bazooka Joe. Ooh, kick tech. They're on the ground. 
Goose doesn't have to push this, but he's going to anyways. It's because Goose is crazy. The Goose is loose, and there he is! <laughs> My gosh. This Goose is loose. Okay. Phase 2 swap into Entangles POV. Testament trying to find the angle on Silicus here, because, like, I I... I I think they really just have to worry about the, the Holdman, right? Like, the Bubbles are going to do so much damage to, uh, to Shinobi because it's a lightweight. And Bubbles just, like, shred AP, as we talked about before. And speaking of which, big really AP tired. lead on Testament here. Bubbles just putting in so much work. Underrated as hell. I'm telling you. Ooh, Jeff Beta staggered, but that actually was so good that they got to avoid the directed damage, damage from the hammer. Here it comes out. Oh, that Javelin Alpha and the Bubble just shredding through the PA. Great attention from Testament. Oh, but that might be game. No hammer. The yeah, hammer is. comes in. Dude, the hammer at the wow, very last really moment. It was so... Dude, look at Goose's AP. 46S or V before, whatever that core is called to be better. Because it looks so gosh darn cool. Back on Shinobi POV. Testament, dude, dude, that was a beautiful the, kick. Goose. Goose gets the neutral hammer. Just the one, not too greedy. Good. Backing off, trying to reset his stagger. Goose, Goose more than anyone knows not to be too greedy with uh, with hammer. Ooh, but that hammer missed. Goose is staggered and I can reset, but Hubba Bubs did. Testament. Ooh, the Javelin Alpha. And the 3 PMs. Goose knows that he has to play a little bit more aggressive here if he wants to clean this up. You've got to make a play. Good PA from Testament. Goose King a little bit greedy with theirs. No PA. You already popped it, didn't you? Did he? I don't remember. I don't think so either. When bubbles are on the screen, it's like really hard to understand if someone's popped PA or not, because this kind of gets shredded. Yeah. My gosh. On Tangle POV. Or how about, how about Bubba POV? <laughs> <laughs> good, good pressure by Goose here. Yeah, I'd be afraid about taking the javelin. Both Look of the javelins the connecting damage! Goose doing a ton of damage. Dude, the bubble gun damage is absurd. Pulse Summer. Pulse Summer coming out. Goose still has expansion. Goose hasn't used it yet. Goose chilling out in the corner. I agree with this move here. Yeah, resetting stagger is very important here. The thing is, if they get if they get a stagger oh, off, they, this could just be game. Hammer does so much damage. Especially on directing, but they uh, need, they need from both here, hits to be it's it. It's not lethal. That was a clean dodge under the Javelin. Goose has expansion still. Something to keep note of. Goose has to push really hard when they when they pop it. Look, it's already gone. It is already gone. no value out of the expansion. You got a little bit of value on it. In fact, if they, if they can get that stagger here, they I think they win. No. Bubbles. Game. Testament takes it. I think the Rinsetsu AR buff is actually helping out Shinobi a lot, which is kind of cool. I was thinking Shinobi's going to fall out because of the kick nerf, but no. It's still just as good, if not better. Ooh, I really like that movement from Silly Goose cancelling- Oh my god! The stagger is building up so quickly on a testament! Dude, Silly Goose is waking the fuck up here! But good damage from testament! I mean the kick! We can't punish because of it! But they did- they did- they did bait off the pulse armor, which is huge! So he's popping their own pulse armor. Let's get a bit of lead in the stagger war. Nice neutral hit. Jeff Beta. Ooh, there it is. But no punish. It's too slow. They got one hammer off. Billy Goose sees the distance is going to take it. Chooses to disengage. Has the AP lead. A minute nine on the clock. Ooh, getting second in the corner. corner now. Unaware of what to do. But I don't think Testament saw him. Yeah, Tesman definitely didn't capitalize if they did. Ooh, good kick. Ooh, so close, very close to stagger. a ton of stagger. Has the AP lead, could choose to disengage here to reset. I would want him to do that. You're, you're Shinobi, you're so light. You have so much attitude recovery. But he just chooses to fight it out. 
I would just turn around and AB, and there it is. Yeah, I was about to say that if they got Sniper here, they just die, so they can't do that. Oh, but they as you recovery didn't see kick in yet. I disagree with the AB path that they did. You should have gone behind the building. Oh, oh get the kill! <laughs> <laughs> that double stagger was so lucky, dude. They got staggered just as they killed him. As they killed that testament. Her, sorry. Good the kick there. Been popped by Testament. Goose woke the fuck up, dude. Goose says I'm not going out like this. Dude, Goose is playing so well. Goose just dominating the match now, dodging all of the Majestics, or all of the Javelins, both the Alpha and the Beta. There's the hammer, and there's the kick, kick whiffs. The kick whiffs but dodges the Bazooka. What's in that matter? And then outspaces the other Javelin. Ooh, no, a testament running right into the right into the uh, right into the javelin. And that's game. Goose takes Goose it. Takes the set. That was such an insane back and forth. Like that, so much adaptation happened there. Okay, we have Yan with Entangle. This is round one of uh, top eight. Versus Cheeky Beastie. Cheeky Basti. Cheeky Basti. You right. Highlighting no sack. No sack. None at all. No sack. <laughs> no zick. Is it no zick or no sack? It's no sack. Okay. I don't know why you said it like that, but alright. Gentleman made it flying out. It might hit the wall. It does hit the wall. The book I'm very, very important here. I mean, uh. Nozak does actually have a PS, which has a weird interaction with shields. Basically, it's just uh, the impact is so much that then because shields get, give you more impact, uh, like you keep more cumulative impact when you shield something. Uh, bubbles are actually pretty good against shield. PA only really bubble, matters with uh, pulse armor. The PA interference does like extra. It, uh, it, I, I believe it's only for pulse armor. I, I have I have the DM from researcher somewhere. <laughs> but it's, it's I weird. That, I thought like against the. Uh... Because Hexacat told me that when he I'm going, fights... to, I'm going to grab the researcher DM. And I'm just going to read it off exactly how PA works with it. This researcher sent me like a whole thing about it. So it does work on shield, but instead of dealing the full damage like pulse armor, it's a bonus to a cumulative impact, and after the normal impact is reduced. So impact yeah, times so PA interference minus impact. Also, these aren't calculated in-game. They're all set manually in the attack um, params. It does collect. Round one. But the, uh, the formula is wacky as fuck. Oh, yeah, it, it is PA interference, this extra. Yeah. It's just whack. Okay, Here we go. Switch. I will. I was so focused on the PA thing, I didn't even commentate much that match, sorry. <laughs> no, uh, shame on you. Shame on me? What the fuck you mean? Shame on you. That's rude. Alright, so we going in again. Honestly, the popping out. Honestly, what you needs to do is just like get close and just obliterate them. You have so much you have so much damage and like are they actually purge the pole shield? That's kinda wild. I mean I kind of agree. Although what are you gonna block with it? The bazooka? Yeah! It's a bazooka! I, I mean, right, right there, homie! <laughs> hmm. Make a good point. Though it does make a bit of sense to get to get a little bit faster, especially with that Morley. Like, they have a bazooka, but you have a Morley. Which is like a five bazookas. Ooh, just uh, hitting that bull somewhere directly with all the Morley shots. PA advantage. PAs are neutralized. Yan is currently winning the AP lead, but is losing the stagger war. Yeah, bubbles. Bubbles do a lot of damage, but terrible stagger buildup. He connects. Good kick. Big All the damage. Connected. And that's game. There you go. Chicky takes a round. This is sick. <laughs> okay, so I went to uh, summon the Chicky POV. Or not you, Gal, you MPOV.
No Zach electing to nope, never mind, purchase the pulse shield. I, I don't know about that. I, I mean it depends on how much like it's not a lot of EN load, right? 61 PS? It's not that bad. Uh, I'm really not sure but uh they did win the last phase with it off, so I mean, there maybe there's something there. If they don't need it, they don't need it. There's a stagger. Just chipping away with a laser handgun. Good damage with Chicky. Ve again, very What's low the movement around the structure. Crane, my beloved. Missing the Javelin Beta or Javelin Alpha. Those French Morleys, they seem to whiff. But Nozak definitely keeping up the pressure more than they did the previous phase. Yeah, I, I, staying I, I, right in hugging distancing. That's why. I, yeah, as I said, they need to get really close to them and just like obliterate them because they have laser hangins, they have runs into RF, they have the damage. They just their FCS is what's holding them back. So the closer you get, the easier it is to hit your target. There's the Morley. Just like that, beautiful. Good adaptation from Cheeky there. Here we go. I believe we're on Cheeky's perspective now, right? Yes. Yes. I'm gonna be better about that, I swear. Alright, the pulse shield has been purged, but again, they've been winning with the pulse shield gone. I, I think it's the right play. I think getting faster and being able to just like be up in uh in Tangle's face is a good idea. Especially with that Morley yeah, because that Morley stagger. is huge. Oh but this the Ooh. javelin's coming off at the same time. Huge damage. And then popping the pulse armor before they can be punished. Good no idea. Morley's Cheeky's pulse armor getting ripped apart. Oh, Ooh. but Cheeky eating both of the javelins. I would have gone for a kick there, but I'm not sure how much energy they had. This is looking really bad for Cheeky. Yeah, that, there's no coming back from that. Maybe if they get, maybe they've gotten the stagger, but I don't know if they have the burst for that. Poshio gone again. I'm gonna swap over to. Uh, swap. Yep, I already am on it. <laughs> good chip with the bubbles. Ooh, good Morley connection. Oh my gosh, that was almost. I think it was all five hits there. About. Morley should be back online any second now. Another thing that we forgot to mention is that the pressure of being up in their face kind of negates the javelin beta. Yeah, no proximity. Or uh, the javelin beta and the well, javelin. The, the javelin beta doesn't turn around. Yeah, yeah. Both of the weapons are kind of neutralized if they can just play within that, like, 30 meter radius. Mm -hmm. God dang, that damage on Javelin Alpha is kind of wild. they just need both of them. They're at a far distance. They need to AD and close the gap. Point yeah. blank Morley's. I believe, uh... Stay frustrated. Yeah, both the weapons also get the AB boost for the uh, extra impact as well. So, a a being towards the opponent is very smart here. They're doing a very good job of fighting against it. They're doing a very good job of fighting against that SOT FCS and keeping their opponent inside the middle of the screen with soft lock here. Because SOT FCS is the big weakness of, of Cheeky's build, of Nosak. Ooh, Ooh. But quick boost right into the javelin. And Yan takes it. I made fun of Nosak. I believe we're on Cheeky's POV, right? Yes, we are. Okay. Let's get it done. Good, good damage. Dodge Good AB, it's the Morley connecting! Ooh, all of Morley's connecting. Big damage from oh! the handgun here in Setsu. That is so Rintetsu good. Setsu chugging away. That had to have been like a 4,000 AP punish just from the weapons. Yeah, that was kind of wild. Morley coming out. Only one hit connecting or so. Morley is five projectiles. You might see another stagger here. Ooh, good damage. Shiki about to be staggered. I'll back away. Has an opportunity to reset stagger and is going to try. Honestly? Dropping the Morley and running might be the key. Coming back down? Like in that in this exact moment, in this exact moment you could you could if you really want your attitude recovery back, you could just drop the Morley and you gain a shit ton. Because Morley's so gosh darn heavy. Ooh. It's neck and neck again. Full summer's been popped. Okay, he's out from both players. The Morley. The Morley neutralizing the expansions. It's still anyone's game. The laser hang doing so much work. The Morley up against the wall. Kind of getting out of cover here. Cheeky, very close to getting staggered. Yan's AP is very low. This could be dangerous. Oh! And it's a neck and neck finish! Dude, look at Yan's AP! You can't even see it on the overlay! Yan's AP! An AP in a dream! Ain't no way, Yan. You have to tell us how much AP you had at the end of that. 
at the end of this. That is insanity. Dude, that was so close. There goes the PS. Excellent oh, the movement to dog the Javelin Beta there. Just, hold, just holding S. Again, just another... Away. Actually, no, the Javelin Beta Trail got... Yeah, see, this is the game plan for Entangle here. Ooh, good Morley, good, good Morley. Morley. Cheeky's doing so well at just lining these Morleys up for maximum lining impact. Lining the Morleys up and neutralizing Entangle's weapons. I love if that. If you can dodge both of the Javelins, he's got nothing else. The Morley into the PA was so smart there. They've been doing this entire time, and it's really been saving them. The Javelin Beta Trail connects. Cheeky very close to getting staggered. I'll be backing away here. If you get staggered, this could be very, very dangerous. Still has uh, Pulse Armor, though. We see much damage the Javelin Alpha can do to a staggered, uh, to a staggered Nozak. Dodges the Javelin Alpha. They're playing so risky here, but it pays off! The stagger the punish! I pop Pulse Armor right now! Instead, they're gonna try to escape! Purge the Morley! Purge the Morley! You don't oh, need it anymore! They, they didn't take Chip! Oh, oh my god! Oh clean escape! Dude! Huge advantage for Nozak right now! This Cheeky. is insane! A very hard game for Entangle, but it's not lose. It's not. It's not over. impossible. It's, it's not yet. possible. Oh, there it is. There it is. This is the last phase. Here we are. Well, five toes all. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Here we are. Solving the cheeky point of view. Going for those assault boosted, uh, runs into RFs and laser, laser, uh, that yeah, laser pistols. This is a really big battle of positioning at this point into the matchup. It really, like, what, what, what needs to happen is, oh, they got oh, someone in the train! cornered! That's so huge for Cheeky! That is so huge for Cheeky! Oh, and they dodged the Cheeky Javelin Alpha escapes. too! I, I really like how Cheeky is playing this out. As soon as the Pulse Summers pop, they turn around and run away. Those are the instincts of a top player. Look the CPM's hitting him. Good movement there, right, Cheeky? Cheeky has a little bit of stagger built up. But it's pretty comfortable cool, with this like right Morley now. Connection. Just land a Morley. Yen needs to just it's back... up pulse number early, which Yen... I agree with. Y Yen needs to just focus wholeheartedly on not getting hit by those Morleys. The Morleys have made all the difference here. Yen is on the there back foot game. now. There it is. Oh. I like I like taking the vertical approach there by Cheeky. Incredibly good well, game. Very well played by Cheeky. I need the beep beep. <laughs> I'm changing that to the pain coins the second this is over. <laughs> right, we got Mind Alpha gaming with with uh, Melzabeth. Then we have Cheeky back on Nozak. No. <laughs> Dude, that javelin bay looks so sick with that paint job. I have to agree, Mr. Striker. That the hammer, hammer was insane? Thrown. That connected? What the fuck? Ooh, Vamel just taking the Morley to the face. Good Morley, good Morley. And reset on this on on Cheeky. Cheeky choosing to disengage now. Makes sense, you have AP lead. Just chill for a bit. That Morley was wild. Big damage on Amel. Good job, Amel. Another Alpha. Morley to the face, punishing all of the stances. Most of needs to go for the needs to go for the hammer. Oh, just the out kick. of range. They can push, them, can push them so far away. Pull Summer down for Mel. Cheeky still has PA. Mel just, sees, Mel just sees one good hammer. Mel's one kick away from getting the stagger. Ooh, Ooh good so parry! close! Pop the orbit! No, the orbit wasn't popped! They kept forgetting about it! Why was the orbit never popped? The orbit does decent damage and decent impact. It's bad, but it's not that bad. That might have been an orbit difference. Let's it tune in on to the... They were like his point of view. They were like 99% of impact if they had hit one orbit. Good parry by Cheeky there. Cheeky, you're talking about how they purged this pulse shield because they're really bad at it, but showing immediate improvement during the heat of battle. And then getting hit by the bazooka. 
<laughs> good hammer damage, the hammer, good hammer damage. And the javelin alpha follow up. The more these splash damage disconnect though. Javelin alpha does too. Both players trading the height advantage, looking to get their explosives off. Most by accidentally hitting out the second hammer. Ooh! The stagger, the kick, good the hammer kick. gets shit parried. Good parries. Really good parries by Cheeky, but I don't think they have the I don't have the uh, the uh, the AP for it. No, uh, I think this is an insurmountable. Uh, They'd have AP to play deficit. perfectly from here, which I don't think they can do. Not with SLT FCS. There it is. If they had PO5, maybe. The first phase was really close, but it was Cheeky's win. I Mel keep... having some kind of adaptation to pull out a very sizable win. I keep bringing up the FCS because the FCS matters more than your firearms look in your arms. FCS is super important in this game, so having SLT on that on that AC is so unfortunate because SLT has very middling stats of everything, as in like 30s and you know and similar, like around 30 on every single. Using the war. I'm sorry. No, you're good. It has like 30s on everything, so you're you're really not great at any range. So you have to get close. You have to you have to use your soft lock. You have to get uh, you have to get very close to your opponent to actually land shots, which is rough. Both post armors coming out. Mel with a pretty sizable AP lead right now. It's gonna be hard for Cheeky to come back from this. Cheeky trying to take the high ground. Getting hit by that javelin beta. That might be, that might spell the end of them. Good lasers though. Good lasers. Ooh, the javelins just always finding their way home. Ooh, that was and a nasty Spain. neutral hammer. Uh, so used to build oh, luck. <laughs> I guess. True. I mean, honestly, it's a, it, it, well, you know, I, you know, let's talk about the match. I should, shouldn't be get distracted. <laughs> Both of the players sizing out, trying to find a positional advantage before the fighting actually begins. Ooh, throwing out that hammer a little bit too far away. Javelin Alpha connects and does a ton of impact. God, Javelin Alpha is underrated. Cheeky understands that they really need the height advantage to get the explosives off. That's and verticality is the weakness of hammer. Exactly, we're just about to talk about that. We'll see some A being towards the opponent here. Double stagger. Mutual stagger. Definitely in Cheeky's favor. The burst damage in Melzabas build it on uh, um, Mind Alpha is way higher than Nozax. The AP is almost exactly 50 50. This is such a close game. Cheeky's playing so much better this game. Good. Good kick into hammer. Good kick into hammer. Oh, the, the javelin explosion connects. Big radius. Good dodge under the Morley. But a follow-up dodge by Cheeky. That's but big then the hammers damage. connect. Both hammers get in. I think Mel still has PA as well. Plus PA once staggered. Big advantage for Mel now. This is probably game. Let's see if she can get this back. If they like Mel's been though. able to convert this pretty consistently. Ooh, good, in good impact instant guard. Good instant wow. guard. Wow. Still alive. Barely clinging on to life. And there's the but javelin alpha. Game. Dude, that looks so cinematic. Them just like hovering over the building and just shooting downwards to finish Both off their the flow. Alpha and Beta colliding at the same time. It was time. so sick. All right, cheeky POV. Let's do this. Well, the the, the Morley has been hurt. Purge? Was that on purpose? I can only assume. That's insanity. They really want the movement for this. They they opted to play a complete vertical kite. Without the Morley, they have. They, they, they just outrange. They the save so much weight. They save so much weight. Morley, Morley is so gosh darn heavy. They're still staggered so quickly. Yeah, the, the javelin, javelin beta, javelin alpha, really scary Good carry combo. Onto the hammer. Dude, I, I don't know about purging the Morley. I was talking about purging the Morley earlier, Ooh, but that was mostly for like really attitude bad. recovery. The adaptation was not it. Yeah, I don't care with the Morley play. I, I feel like they would have lost. They would have lost regardless. Well, it's not. It's not over yet, but I feel like this would still go a very similar way, even with the Morley. Maybe even worse. I think Mozart just woke up. The clock. But this is going to be a very, very hard match for Cheeky to win. It's going to be a difficult end game. Good damage though. Oh, but the but javelin, javelin beta taking them down. And Mozart wins 2-0. Melithbath is here on the Mind Alpha still. Loves and fears, true. And we got Risa on the High Ramen, also known as G2 Nile, or Deep Down. Here we go, let's do it.
So Risa has has dropped two games so far this entire tournament, and we are currently in top six. But you never know. Maybe Melzabeth is the Queen Slayer. Ramen, go ahead and tell me how you know those two players, these two players. I've been playing Armor Core 6 with Risa for a very long time. Uh, one of my first major sparring partners, and me and her just kind of grinded out a lot of matches together back when we were both still racing to improve. Mm -hmm. They're also your three Mel teammates, is one of I my, believe. Yeah, Mel is another one of my good friends. And the three of us are on a 3v3 team together. Yeah, a very good 3v3 team. Reap and So. It's called Rip and So? Reap. Okay, I was like, why Reap, why not Reap and So? <laughs> Taking a lot of aerial gameplay here. Risa trying to stay out of the range of that hammer, which makes sense. Ooh, the Javelin Snipe, but there's no follow-up because it was so far. Unfortunate. Sometimes, sometimes it's better not to shoot the Javelin Beta. I'll be real. Sometimes you have to use discipline. I wouldn't put it past Risa to be intentionally staggered there. Yeah, I, I would definitely have drifted into it. Reese is still at AP lead here. Ooh, Ooh but barely missing that Harris. It should have waited just a little bit longer. Risa playing very, very vertical. Very well at doing so. Ooh, good hammer. I still, I do not agree with hammer into, into Javelinata, Devon Alpha, that does not make any sense to me. You are staying stance for so long. Maybe hammer and then quick boost and then Javelin Alpha? But I, I wouldn't stand still for that long, especially when your opponent has a Harris. Harris and Vert. Risa playing this very, very safe and well. Mm. I mean, why, why would you? Like, with all the burst damage of the hammer, like, I, I wouldn't want to get close either. <laughs> the team egg! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Money match me 10k ping points, Ramen. Calm down. <laughs> What's a ping point? Oh my god. <laughs> Purging the orbit, I do agree with that play. Yeah, they need the efficiency if they're going to catch the vertical kiting. Yeah, their, their AC is now at 6,000 efficiency, which is just ridiculous. Ooh, what good a kick. kick! That was an incredible kick! But they, they weren't able to capitalize off of it. Instead, they got punished. And then Ooh, they eat the charge Harris. Harris. Deep Down is such a good build. <laughs> Deep Down is wild. Disconnect. Ooh, getting punished by this ACTs for going into assault boost. What do you even do here? Like, I'm not, I'm not really sure what to do. As a, as Mind Alpha. Like, Rooster's movement's just too clean. This is a very, uh, very, very much a build disadvantage situation. Yeah, I agree with that as well. There's not really much you can do here. I mean, different map would definitely help. Bonadea Day Dunes is such an open field. Ooh, the ACTs punching them right in the back. That sounded weird. Anyway. Oh, the ACTs again from the back! Ouch, right up the booster. Whoops. Purging the verts here, that makes a complete sense. I, I don't think these I don't think verts would work at all in this on this map. I'd have to agree. Up against the corner, taking a lot of javelin damage. Ooh. Risa's game plan is to run from corner of the map to corner of the map. It has to be. You know, Xylem, I, I joke that, like, Xylem is your city, Ramen. For those who don't know, Ramen is, like, an, an extremely good lightweight player. I think Grid 86 is Risa's home. Every Risa's time I, little... I, am, I, have, I don't think I've ever seen Risa lose on this map. I, I, I think this map is better for Melzabath's build. But I think I think Risa just knows the map too Risa, well. Risa is very comfortable in this map. Yeah, I'm just kind of realizing that I I've never seen Risa lose here. But Risa is able to reset the stagger. Yeah, this is very very bad for Mel. And Mel eats a huge charge. Harris does get the kick into a single hammer and the javelin off of connects. Yeah, if only they can but capitalize now that. Too much distance between them. If they can capitalize Risa's on it, they're gonna get the stagger reset again. 
Reese is used to playing these boys build. Reese has been playing playing this game for a long, long time before patch 1.0, 3.1. I actually forget exactly how long it's been, but it definitely for a long, long, long time now. And she mostly prefers heavyweight bipeds. So she knows how to move, especially with PO4, which is the booster that she used on her current on her current meta AC that she used to that she piloted to win the Wednesday tournament without dropping a single game. But she, she dropped one game to Navi. Which makes sense because Navi's insane. No one was able to sneak in a hammer. But this this AC it's that she's but this AC that she's There's piloting right time. now. This AC that Reese is piloting right now is just it's just the exact same AC that she uses for, like th th basically the exact same weight and the same booster as her main AC. Probably like maybe five or seven k more weight. And hell, with the with the verts gone, it probably is the exact same weight. Mel needs to really pick and choose uh, her timings here. She cannot allow reset to reset stagger at all. It mostly goes down to like catching up to them. So, I mean, do you purge the javelin beta here for speed, Ramen? You definitely has javelin beta even hit? I don't think it has. That's okay, the thing. Oh, wait, no, it did. There you go. It did hit. I'm wrong. <laughs> Ooh, force reach to the pop PA early. That's so good. Oh, but the Harris connects. The Harris. That's huge. Mel has got her into a corner. She needs to be aware of the routing, but isn't. Mel did not need to follow her around that fuel cell. Dude, deep needs down is taking the corners. Dude, deep down is such an insane heavyweight rat. This is ridiculous. This AC is crazy. Ooh, the one hammer? Damage from Mel's not chase. Just go watch over the Harris. The laser it's orbit is able to connect Ooh. to keep the stagger going. During yeah. these AB chases. Laser Orbit actually is doing so much work here. What the heck? Mel's about that's AP lead. But Reese is chilling up there. Wasn't able to capitalize. The Javelin Alpha connects. I don't think Mel is going to have the patience here to wait it out. I think Mel's just going to charge back in even though she has AP lead. Playing right into Reese's hands. This is exactly what Reese wants. Yeah, I, I don't and like boom, this. There it is. The ACT's in the back. Now, now, now Mel is losing. She has to get lucky here. Ooh, and luck get lucky she again. did. No, but the AB. All of those. What a hammer! That was an insane hammer. I I cannot believe that actually connected. But it's not enough. Oh, but all the damage from the MLT04. Oh, I don't I don't like that, how much about to play this end game. game. That's game. She had a P lead. She had the world in her hands. Probably. Yeah, here we are. That orbit actually put in so much work last game. I, I, I'm i very happy that Mel's about to decide to keep it this time. Mel really needs something to help at least just hit the uh, enemy AC to keep stagger. Yeah. But Honestly, again, a lot of the issues here is pathing. Like, Mel does not need to be chasing too deep into these corners. Mm -hmm. Especially when there's a charge Harris just waiting for her. Another thing is that she needs to nurture this uh, this orbit a bit more. Because the orbit, uh, when it go, when it go, you can actually... Uh, prematurely lower the orbit and make the cooling, cooling down process way faster for more uptime. But most of us just kind of like popping it and then letting it just shoot at nothing. No, did not need to go around the fuel cell here. She needs to start cutting these corners if she's going to catch Risa. Yeah, especially with the Javelin, Javelin Beta, you can have that go around the fuel cell and hit and hit Risa. Good catch! Catching with rats. a single hammer, Alpha Fall hits, gets hit by the Harris though. Good damage. And does get the hammer, hammer off, and now the AP lead is in Mel's favor. But Mel just refuses to acknowledge that the AP lead is a big advantage Ooh. that she can capitalize on. That hammer was Mutual great. Stagger. And the Javelin Mel Alpha! Mel is winning by a lot! Mel pops PA. Risa gets hit by the Javelin Beta. Mel really needs to bring up this orbit and hide. Yeah, Mel needs to chill. 40 seconds of the clock. Stop in the, the orbit. The Fall in the, the orbit. You need it! Orbit, please! Oh my gosh. The thing is, okay, Mel also has like such a great deterrent because she can do counter kicks, she can just swing at the hammer. Oh! But it's gone. It was so close. Dude, the burst damage was insane. Mel's about to Mel's so close to taking that. She that. can win this. She's very close to leveling up, evolving as a player. What happened in there? M like stagger, MLT tens, a kick from a heavy biped. <laughs> I think an ACT also connected. It's like a lot of burst damage, a lot of things lined up. 
right at the end there. Reese is taken out of the range of this Javelin Beta. The Javelin Alpha connects. Hair shot connects. Good kick. Extremely good hammer. Good hammer. Good hammer. That's, that's double hammer hits. And the Orbit Swan's also attacking on more, even more damage. Reset and almost half AP. Ooh, but no staggered. Pulse Armor advantage is in Reese's favor, but AP lead is in Mel's. Look at that shuffle from from Risa. The AP shuffling was fantastic. Good kick. Extremely good, good kick. Wow, Risa, this wait, is all those missiles that. connecting. Those missiles hurt so bad. Mel has AP lead. The Javelin Beta connects. We'll AP up and stagger advantage. Risa knows to take it slow. Has a minute to work with. Good neutral hammer. They traded both of the hammers. The second, the second, the second hammer was insane. Into the Javelin Alpha. Mel really wants this kill. Is not slowing down or backing off. There it is! The triangle boost! Mel took a phase! The edge walk away! That was insane. Ken Mel's about to do the reverse 3-0, dude. All it takes is one phase to swing momentum. On record, just like a lot of fighting games, is a very momentum-based game. Mm -hmm. If you play hot, you play hot, but the second you cool down, it could be all over. Risa on a pinch of AP lead here. I like this patience for Mel trying to set up a position where she can corner Risa. But the question is, is this a wake-up call for Risa? Is Risa going to start playing even better now than that she's actually down a phase? The hammer does get snuck in. Ooh. I like to shoot the javelin alpha. Now we're going for the assault boost. The laser, so the orbit. The laser orbit doing a fantastic yeah. job. The hammer ha one. Dude, the laser orbit's actually doing such a good job of keeping up stagger here. Risa very close to getting Ooh. stunned. Mel's about needs this damage. Add to recover kicking in. The orbit needs to come back online as well. Risa, one of the best kickers in the game, landing it. Mel still has AP lead and could choose to take it slow, but knowing Mel, she's gonna look to press every advantage she has. Extremely she wants an endgame where she just hit out just with hammer! Connecting. The hammer just barely connecting! And Risa takes the entire Javelin Alpha! And there's the hammer! Another one! This might be game! Mel takes the Mel has ring. done it! Mel takes the round! Look no, at it! It's got the Risa really colors! Well. It has the Risa colors! Dude! It has the Risa colors! It's Jover. Ain't no way! Look at the AP! Mel wanted a brawl. Oh, Mel's and gonna get a brawl. Snipe with the facade! Dude, Reese is insane! Mel has opted to purge the uh, laser drone. I, I would too! Look how look how fast Reese's shuffling is! Oh my god! Go for the snipe! Look Ooh, how much damage! Good damage from Elzabeth though! They have to think about the, also like the mental damage of, of swapping to Reese's like actual colors. Like, dude, I would be so scared right now if I was most of that. The javelin connected. Ooh, the javelin off also connects ooh, ooh, and it goes straight to the PS because it's behind. Mel has AP lead. She does? And the javelin off connects again? And then javelin alphas. She's saving. There's a crucial window where Risa has to look away to a sub boost into the sky and that's when the javelin's coming out. Yeah, and it makes sense. I mean, you have to, you have to also like, you also like kind of stance whenever you go into AB. You see that you kind of slow down to a halt for a moment. And that is when you shoot. So Mel just has to keep reading Risa. Mel's still an AP lead here, 52 seconds on the clock. It's anyone's game, especially since Mel likes to play very aggressive despite the AP lead. Oh, the hammer! The sneaky Ooh, the hammer! Oh, the javelin's up on it! The alpha the connects, alpha. and then the post armor! Dude, what is this? The Hassan missed! Hassan. Big damage the on the hammer. hammer. Javelin Beta coming around. Javelin Beta connects. Risa has like 10 AP. She can still win this if, with Hassan snipes. A player a player like Risa? Definitely. Mel's about just kind of chilling for 18 seconds. Risa, they, Risa, they are behind you. There's oh, 13 okay. seconds. There's not enough time. Hassan snipe. They have to go in. Mel is going to win by timeout? Purges everything! Mel is learning patience today! Mel is learning patience today! This is the evolution of Mel.
No way, dude. Dude, Risa showing up with her, like, pattern with her, like, colors on this AC scared the fuck out of me. Good for Son Snipe and Marisa. Now we're playing the the closed distance game again. Oh, good for Son Snipe. Timing off this one. That alpha did not connect. Mel just has to get close. We need to be watching Risa perspective. I think. Uh, I was on Risa last game. Okay. Okay. I jumped to Risa because, you know, Risa colors, that got excited. <laughs> I was watching no. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Fasan hit. Risa just not letting Mel close the distance, getting these Fasan snipes in. Yeah. Risa playing this like a sniper, which I, I, I actually agree with. This is a playstyle that is still kind of new to Armored Core. This is such a cool place though, because like you have to you have to A B towards them, right? And when you're A B towards them, A Bing towards them, you're taking all of those bubbles to the face. And the impact reduction on uh, A B doesn't matter here because bubbles do so much damage and so low impact. So who cares? You don't need it. This is a sniper! We found a sniper! It was there all along, infection! People were well, like, JC's man, I hope. Playing I mean, well yeah, I know, but but JC's build is like double Viento, double Fasan. That, yeah, that's more of a like close a range. Yeah, but you he can doesn't play, play a close range. You can play both, but this is like a pure sniper. You understand what I mean? Like, it's laying traps for my opponent, which is kind of cool. Mel has to clean up their movement here, definitely. But look how long Risa can stay in the air. Risa is not in. giving Mel a single chance to close the distance. Playing it absurdly safe. Mel purging both both the javelin beta and the uh, and the orbit. That's time up. Man, AC still go so weird without any shoulder weapons on. Look at that. I mean, Fasan is a dedicated sniper weapon. I'll be honest with you, Ryan. Fasan is a sniper cannon. That's like the point of it. It has the fastest projectile speed in the game. Yeah, purge the jab B and keep the orbit. I agree with that, Chio. That's not what Mel's about this opted to do, though. And honestly, I'm not sure if you can even hit Infection with the Orbit, I'll be real. Dude, the Infection swap is so sick. Well, actually, a little bit of AP lead here, but got get sniped by the Fasan. Ooh, very close on the kick! Connects the kick. Drop the Javelin Alpha and keep the shoulders. Javelin Alpha is extremely heavy. It's not a bad idea. I'm going to have to disagree, though, because we've seen the amount of work that a well-timed Javelin Alpha can put in. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, if you purge too many things, Rhesus is going to fucking go in and just kill you. <laughs> Most about the, trying to claw the way back to the AP lead here. Rhesus a little bit of stagger. Though Infection's too light. You're going to add recovery in. Ooh, good Javelin Alpha! Very close away to equalizing the AP. No, M Mel is in AP. No, actually, no, Mel's not. You're right. Also, the orbit does have more EN load. You're, you're gaining 2,000 EN supply efficiency by, by purging the orbit. Javelin Beta is also very energy hungry. That's true. It's one of the most energy, energy hungry uh, shuttle weapons in, in the game. And there it is. I think this is an end game where Risa converts every time. Yep. There's only 15 seconds left, not enough time. Now Risa's got this. Her bathing's too good. And this is the set. Yo, going for the punch. Get her ass, Mel the Bath. Get her ass. <laughs> Risa, that kick was so mean. So that was Ramen Rook, one of the best BVO players, one of the best lightweight players in the game. Please go ahead and follow them on Twitch. And I am now alone. From Melzabath versus Silly Goose. I am by myself. Let chat cast via text to speech. That's a bad idea. I don't like that fancy belt. But I'm not by myself solo commentating. All I need is my own self and myself being here with myself. And we are looking at Shinobi versus Mind Alpha. A very interesting matchup. Both players have a hammer, which is one of the best melees in the entire video game. I'm gonna see 
how they do with it. So Shinobi's gonna get going to get really really close up and dodge those javelin alphas. If it comes out, Devon Alpha does connect. Javelin Alpha connects again. This is a very bad position for Shinobi here. Melsmith needs to jump in and, and, and uh, capitalize. Melsmith and staggered. PA has to be popped. Neutral Hammer coming out. Doing a decent amount of chip. Neutral Hammer, of course, being a hammer that is thrown when not when your opponent is not staggered. No prediction. Ramen, shut the heck up. You're supposed to do it, <laughs> and you left. Yeah, 30 second prediction, y'all go ahead now. We have Melzabath versus Silly Goose. Top three. This is your loser's finals. Oh, good kick, and the hammer. Big damage. Melzabath's gonna get right back, though. Honestly, I would've shot the, the Holdman first and then the hammer, but here we are. Actually, the Holdman doing a ton of directed damage. That, that weapon is ridiculous. People talk about Zim all the time, but Haldman's just as good. Good lord. And G well, Silly Goose takes first one. Sneak attack fail. Silly Goose, get out of my chat. Play the game. <laughs> my god. I love the Mind Alpha frame. It looks so good. What a cool AC. Melzabeth comes the corner here, taking a lot of damage. So much chip from this Rensetsu AR and this uh, Haldman. Honestly, Rensetsu AR off the buff feels pretty nice. On the, uh, on, on the, on the Shinobi preset. It's no longer something you just purge and never use. Good damage from both players here. Whiffing the hammer, unfortunately. Orbit's out. Doing some beautiful chip. The Javelin Alpha completely connects here. Melzabeth backing up, still has their expansion. Shinigui gets hit by the neutral hammer. Lots of damage. And Goose has AP lead. Pretty sizable one, too. Ooh, big damage. Both d got double staggered. But Goose went for the went for the hammer and took a gained a lot of AP lead there. Definitely an uphill battle, battle for, for uh, Melzabeth here. They seem to get one stun, one stagger. There it is, but oh, actually stopping to get the uh, to get the hammer instead. That was so smart. Ooh, but good neutral from, from Goose to end it off, and Goose takes the first gate. New birthday present, one monitor. What's up, Guten Dude? We're uh, we're in top three. My second monitor has died. Everybody, I am watching it from OBS, just like you all are. So it's a little bit of delay on my commentary, almost definitely. Ooh, good hammers from both, both players just swinging hammers at each other. And there it is. And the hammer comes on cooldown just barely, just barely enough. One of the faster cooling down melee's hammer. Hammer is a ridiculous tool at these players' disposal. Disposal, and Silly Goose is making, making great use of it. And there it is. Dominating performance by Silly Goose there. New birthday present, one monitor. Oh my god, chat, it is not my birthday. Calm down. Rensetsu AR has been purged. Which honestly, I kind of get, you kind of don't really need it. Kick, hammer, javelin, out, javelin beta should be enough impact for, for the, uh, the mind alpha frame. Ooh, good. The, dude, the hammer slide was so good. <laughs> Mel can't win the mirror because Goose fights himself every day. <laughs> Cabbage, hey, don't don't do a spirit cabbage. Cabbage is fine. Oh gosh. Alright, so Goose. Pretty close to losing AP lead here. Or not AP lead, pretty close to losing on AP here. I think one hammer from Elizabeth wins it. Both are very close to getting staggered, though. Racing around each other. Ooh. Go to hammer. Where's the cake? Oh, the cake didn't come out. I think they had EN. I think they're out of EN, guys. Unfortunate. What the fuck happened to my other monitor? Why is it dead? Did it become unplugged? What happened? The HDMI cable is still in there. What the fuck? Oh my god, whatever. Sugo's so taking a lot of damage. Almost stunned here. 
Power cord? It just says no signal. Ooh, the hammer just barely reaching! That's huge for Melzabeth! Extremely good damage. Silly Goose trying to get a little bit of a uh, leeway here. Good damage. Extremely close. One neutral helmet from Elizabeth and that ends it. Silugus needs to play very careful here. There it is. There's the neutral hammer I was talking about. I just mentioned that and look at what happened. That's crazy. Dark. Goose is Larry from Pokemon. I agree. <laughs> That's so good. It's a AR has been purged. I think I want Melzabeth POV. I'm gonna swap to that real quick. Go back to OBS. This is so whack. My monitor is fucking dead, chat. I think the power- I think the, the cable died. I think you're right. Jab beta just barely not connecting. Go right to that- go right to that building. The jab beta is definitely gonna do- definitely connect here though. No! So Lucas is able to get out. Wait, they're both playing Shinobi? I just realized they're both playing Shinobi! How did I- how did I not get that? How did I not notice that? They're both- they both are on Shinobi! What the fuck? Wait, did most of us just change? Curse of Ramen. <laughs> Types the entire Egyptian alphabet. Dude, what? With that hammer, there it is. Goose takes it. Yeah, I'll do that after this match collect. That's a good idea. Stop. Hammer time. All right, dancing around Commander City A. A little bit of quick boost here. Javelin Beta primed and ready. They both fly. They're just, <laughs> they're both just slugging at each other. <laughs> no way, dude. Mel's about popping PA early though. So I'm in the silly goose perspective. Javelin Beta is hitting this, hitting the gosh darn uh, building there. Silugus keeping his VA to the end. Here comes the hammer. There it is. Huge damage from Silugus. And there's the hammer. And Goose takes it. So I'm basically, yeah, Derek. Yeah. You stop, you hit him with the hammer. Okay. I'm glad that my setup is back to normal. Good God. So you don't get the mine alpha picks. I mean, the mine alpha pick like got them to top three. So there you go. Mouth bath very close. Dude, double staggers huge. Ooh, getting that hit, that cheeky hammer in at the very end there. Ooh, dodging the hammer and punching with their own mouth bath movement is ridiculous. Good on that Javan alpha as well. Good job on Alpha Hit. Wait, only that second hammer. But the job on Alpha gets it. And there should be game. There it is. Melda still got some fire in her. I did skill Lily. I'm, I'm going to be doing that Monday. I'm going to be getting to S rank with Laser Blade build. My Laser Blade build. The Laser Blade Wooger build. It's going to be hell, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be hell for me, but fun for y'all, because y'all gonna, gonna watch me get sniped by top players 24 7. Ooh, good cape by Mosebeth there. It wouldn't let me for perfect for some reason. Ooh, wonderful kick. Melzabat takes the game. We're at game five, people. We're at game five. Okay, here we are. Melzabat versus, versus Silly Goose. Final fight. This is the final match of top three. Whoever wins this will be going on the fight. Risa and Grand Finals. Both players sizing each other up now. 140 on the clock. There's good damage. Melzabeth kind of whipping, whipping the hammer there. Big impact on them right now. But the Javelin Alpha connects and the impact is about the same. 
Ooh, Silly Goose. Big damage. Meltbeth smartly popping the armor as well. So Silly Goose can just like throw out a hammer. That Orbit actually doing a lot of work to Silly Goose, I'll be honest with you. Orbit, not something we see a lot in regular competitive play, but in preset, it is pretty dang good. It's kind of wild how preset has like a lot of very balanced ACs. Good neutral hammer, good neutral hammer. We're very close to getting staggered. And this remember from Mezzo Arms. Oh! That is huge damage! Ooh, extremely close phase. Padu popping off in chat for Goose. Here we are. This could be the final phase of Losers Finals. Yeah, Rensetsu AR finish? Crazy. Who would have thunk? Extremely good damage. That cheeky hammer actually getting through PA there. That is huge for Melzabeth here. Good damage. Goose very close to getting staggered. Taking the stagger was very smart. He bet that Javelin Alpha was a good idea, or Javelin Beta was a good idea. Why'd they have to call them the same thing? It's fucked up. There's an amazing snipe with the Javelin Alpha! Goose trying to reset their stagger. Now they're going in. Led by that Javelin Beta. Dodging the, the uh, Melzabeth's own Javelin Beta. The Javelin Betas are flying, Jet. Ooh, good neutral hammer. And that should be game. There it is. Dude, no way it went to game five, phase three. Are you in? Th this is insane. This is insane, right? Game five, phase three. Losers finals. Goose is never getting to the gym. Goose, Goose was worried that they that they wouldn't have enough time, or Go Goose joined the tournament just to lose in Swiss and then go to the gym, and now look at them. Really good damage. There's the kick into the Haldman. Needs that javelin bait to the land. Ooh, and Lane it does. Big damage. Goose needs to get the heck out of here. There he goes. Goose with a huge AP lead here. And I believe both users have both uh, gamers have used their expansion already. Java connects. And that should be game. No! Goose fucks up the swap! Maybe that wouldn't have worked, I'm not sure. Goose is either shifting down with Rensetsu AR. Play very safe. This is, this, is your, this is your grand finals run back with Risa on the line here. Play it very safe, and you should have this. There it is. Melzabath ends up at third, and Goose goes on to grand finals. Your ass is not going to the gym, Goose. Trust the tech? Okay, I'll trust the headbringer. Okay, we have Risa on deep down. And we have Goose running Iguazu in Grand Finals. That's insane. What? Why? <laughs> An Iguazu in Grand Finals of a preset tournament. That dude was coping when he lost to Loader 4. That is 100% a pilot diff. Good shield on that. Goose already getting staggered here, though. Thank you, Roman, for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. Ooh, good damage. Good damage. Nice kick. And Goose has AP lead. Goose has AP lead with the Guazu. Goose is doing it with the Guazu. Ain't no way. No fucking way, dude. Ooh, almost hit. Almost hit with the Dodge at Harris. Big damage from, Re from Risa. Both PAs come out. I actually don't agree with that. I, th I think Goose could have gotten away and kept their PA for later. Risa trying their best to get away. Goose hot on the tail. Goose chipping away at Risa. 
Still was an AP lead by a decent amount. 50 seconds on the clock. Reese is very close to the stagger here. Goose just needs to find it. That Ludlow Curtis combo actually pretty decent at putting up staggers, even on a on a pretty big AC like a like deep down. Oh, just barely look at Reese's AP. Do the Iguazu counter pick, the Iguazu tech. It's working. The Iguazu tech. No way. Yeah, yeah, that, I, I, I think Goose fucked up their PA there, definitely. But this is possible. You put 7.5k points on Risa and you're still supporting Goose. It's a Guazu in Grand Finals of a tournament. How insane is that? Risa very close to getting staggered here, going for a cape but whiffing it. Ooh, the Harris shot. Here comes the kick. Goose not getting hit by it. Risa forced to PA here. Goose PA, but not after getting hit by that ACT, that's so unfortunate. And then all the verticals just taking down their PA. A completely wasted PA on Goose's side. Very patient gameplay from Risa. Ooh, the Harris, but Goose parries it. Oh! Insane my damage. Goose can still win this. Goose just has to play very defensively. Don't don't get hit by the Harris. Don't get hit by the missiles. You have 50 seconds to, to whittle down their AC, their AP. Oh, the ACTs! Oh, the ACTs were just uh, were just harassing Goose that entire time. Uh, too deep down, even with Risa's really good movement. Here we go, chat. Here's the right song. All right, I'm turning up the music chat. Let's do it. This is Grand Finals. Game two. Risa's favor. Sugus on Tsubasa. Risa on deep down. Sugus doing a lot of good work with Tsubasa right now. Almost staggered. And they get staggered. And the vertical missile is actually doing a lot of work here. Tsubasa just keeps getting sniped by, the, by, the, by deep down's Harris. Needs to watch out for that. Ooh, good damage. There's a little gem. Big damage. Spots need to get away here. They need to AB away or something. Preset! Oh, not preset. Uh, pulse protection coming out. Let's see if Spots can use it. Use it correctly. Risa almost staying staggered here. But the Harris hits! Oh, I'll definitely be doing more preset tournaments. Preset's hype as fuck. PP wasn't big enough? True. We're taking a lot of chip damage from Subasa's weaponry. The ACT's almost connecting. Ooh, big Harris shot! And the kick! That was all of Subasa's health! That's it! Game, game's done! Game two is reset uh, time. They dropped the hammer? Was that on purpose? Ain't no way that was on purpose. I think Goose just fucked up. That's the whole reason the play should not be. Goose is throwing! What is he doing? Is he just gonna play super defensively? I don't understand. Goose still taking ACTs up the butt. Jalen better connects. A lot of impact on, on Risa's on, on, on deep down. Can Goose catch up? I mean, hey, it's working so far, chat. Look at the impact damage so far, but they're still taking those ACTs. You gotta be you gotta be more careful about them in the future. Risa taking her stagger here. You lost to that? Oh no. Why did Goose drop the- Why are you- did, He just keeps taking ACTs! 
Goose! We're focused on the ATTs! They hurt so bad! And you keep getting hit by them, you goober. Good damage, though, by Goose. Are Goose is actually winning. Wait, wait, hold up, chat. Goose is winning. Hold the fucking phone. Goose is losing now, but they were winning for a bit there. Hold the phone. We're dropping the hammer? Was that the right play? Ain't no fucking way, chat. Those verticals are actually all hitting. Dude, Goose has AP lead and 12 seconds left. Goose, we're off safe! Like, don't say P lead! <gasps> it's back in their favor! Goose won! Goose won the phase by dropping hammer! No fucking way! Goose dropped the hammer and won! Goose doesn't need it. Goose doesn't need it. Goose doesn't need it. Goose doesn't need the hammer. The goose is loose, chat. The goose is loose. They don't need the fucking hammer. They're, they're winning AP lead again. What is happening? So much damage though. Goose just got kind of fucked up, though. Risa has a lot of impact. Can Goose get close enough? Didn't manage to dodge the Harris, sadly. I'm not biased. I just want more games. <laughs> Dude, no way Goose can win this. Good damage. That runs into AR buffs. I hope on Shinobi so much. There's the Harris. Huge damage there because of PA from, from Risa. Risa should have this. I don't think she drops these. Risa backing away again. Break the line up that Harris. Goose dodges it. Hallman coming into play. Hallman's reloads. We definitely helping here. Large impact per second. Here comes the Harris. Goose dodges. Goose so close to Sager and Risa. There's the Sager. And the kick, but no! The missiles came in! How long gets a weight benchmark? I think you're right, Alexis. I think getting rid of the hammer gets a, a weight benchmark. That makes it way easier to catch up to uh, Teresa. Caught in the ads? Yep, caught in the ACTs. Can Goose make it? Can Goose take the game? Hasn't gonna hit once yet. Goose is, Goose is playing out of their mind. Takes the Harris, unfortunately. Risa close to getting staggered. Goose getting their EN back. Another thing to consider is that they're getting a lot of a dot of EN as well. Good kick by Goose. Good Harris shot from Risa. Well lined up. Goose taking a lot of damage, but Risa taking a lot of impact. Very close here. Harris shot whiffs. Was trying to definitely get away. But the Javelin Beta! Good kick! Goose has this. The Hammerless Shinobi is going to take a phase off of Risa! One of the best players in in the West! There it is! Goose takes it! Goose takes it. That's her pattern. Reese's trademark AC. AC colors and pattern. Look at that assault boost movement from Risa. Swapping the Goose's POV. They're the one losing here. They're the one one, one game away from being knocked out of the tournament. Now keep in mind, chat. Goose has to win two best of fives because Risa has not lost a set yet in the Sibylination tournament. He's looking at the sign, line up a nice facade shot. There it is. Well lined up. Goose taking all those bubbles to the face. Don't care at all about them. Just going for impact. Just going for damage. Drop the hammer again, I notice. 
We're just trying to get away. The lesser weight definitely helping here. AP is close to even. With those people almost on the PA, it's not going to matter much. Are we going to see the reverse sweep, or is Risa going to clutch this out? Risa, an extremely patient player, playing this like a sniper here. If Goose chases after in the wrong angle, they're just going to take a bunch of bubbles to the face. And you do not want that bubbles to do a ton of damage. Goose kind of misplacing their, their AC there. Risa backing away again. Can Goose catch up and, and get this AP lead back? Good damage. Goose just has to catch up. Goose in the right position. Javelin better kick. Connects. They just have to get this impact. There's the stagger. There's the kick. There's the damage. Reese is down. Goose takes it. Goose takes it. Nine seconds on the clock. Goose takes it. Ain't no way. Nice ramp off the Xylem, by the Xylem building. Goose is loose, chat. I'm not making fun of Goose anymore. I, I would make fun of Goose and, and call him like the fourth best lightweight player and a bunch of other stuff, but like, I, I can't do that anymore. Goose is, Goose is making me shut up. Goose is, gym is going completely bankrupt, no attendance. Goose was supposed to go to the gym. If you're just not joining us, Goose was supposed to go to the gym. They thought they were gonna drown in pools. They thought they were gonna drown in Swiss. With the Haldman shot there, I think. Good kick! Did not get shielded. Reese actually missed an instant guard there. It's extremely rare for player from, from, from Risa. Does this goddess bleed? Can Goose take it? As Jody coming back. It's looking kind of doomed. But Goose has pulled it out before. Dodges the Fasan. Gets a lot of impact on Risa. Can Goose catch up? All those bubbles really, really stacking up. Hit behind the building there out of, out of the Fasan. I can't even use my own words. Supposed to be in that stagger. Risa's PA. Goose's PA. Goose has an AP advantage. Goose takes it! Goose takes the second gear! Alright, I'm watching it from Reese's perspective this, perspective this game. Look at those AB shuffles. Look at Reese's movement! Going with a snipe, trying to get a soul read on Goose. Unable to do it, though. Fasan's on cooldown. Fasan charging up. Turn it from Goose. Dodging that Harris. Good damage on Goose with that Fasan snipe. Javelin Beta does connect. It's not able to guard it. Javelin Beta does hit behind the shield. I believe he can guard it in very specific ways, but it cannot. it's not guarded like that. Good impact with Unsensor AR. That Unsensor AR buff helping, helping out so much. The only the only change to Trigger is that presets that don't have an expansion have Pulse Armor. That's it. Those are the only changes. I don't think Infection has a as an expansion. The only change was that Infection has a, has a uh, has pulse armor. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Only change. Trying the facade there, taking a lot of impact though. Risa cannot stun Goose. Bubbles do not do enough impact for that. So all Goose needs to play is play and play for impact here. Needs to needs to dodge bubbles, get impact, dodge facades. Is if Goose can get the stagger, Goose gets a ton of damage. Risa has to hold on to her PA until she's just about to get staggered and then pop it. Remember, I'm recording for answer. Good ass song. Risa takes it. This could be Goose's last phase. This could be the last phase of the whole tournament. Right here, right now. Is Risa going to take this?
This matchup is so bad. This looks 50-50 as fuck, Melzabath. I'll be real. Will his goose be cooked? More like will his goose be wet because he just gets getting showered in bubbles. Can the goose get the bracket reset? This could be the last phase of the whole tournament. Reset with the great facade snipe there. Goose trying his best to get in. That was a, that was a big mistake by Risa. Maybe not even been a mistake, actually. Got a lot of damage from the Vasan. But stancing so close to Goose that Hallman's going to do so much impact. Risa another great Vasan snipe. Risa, one of those patient players in the game. Extremely good movement. We've seen Goose come back from this before. But this is game five, Risa. This is one of, if not the best player in the game on game five. Can Goose bring this back? Javelin made a disconnect. Very close to it, very close to a stagger. If Goose can just get in for a little bit longer. The jab beta connects! The stagger! The AP is so close, 30, 29 seconds on the clock. Could be Goose's last phase. There it is, the Fasan snipe. Impeccable 180 from Risa, and Goose goes down. The Goose has been cooked. Risa is now the queen of presets. <laughs> she flew just out of reach.